Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to a, another live stream. We are going to be returning back to the world of Animal Crossing. Uh, not much has changed on my island since the, the last stream I did on it. Like, I didn't imagine, like, Animal Crossing would be, like, a game that I end up, like, doing stuff with regularly on streams. Uh, but now it's kind of come to the point where, like, every, like, major addition I want to do to my house, I think that... I might as well stream it. I might as well share it with everyone. I can't do it by myself. So, uh, yeah, I've been uh, getting a lot of money. Uh, I had a pretty good a pretty good turnip run uh, with the, uh, the last week. So uh, that gave me, like, about half a million bells. It was enough to upgrade my house. I added an incline, done a little bit of decoration, got some new outfits. Uh, but, yeah, so now I've got the uh, the new room. I want to decorate the, the bedroom and maybe... Start doing some of like the the major terraforming, uh, which is uh, going to be happening over the the island. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump straight into it. No reason to delay. I've just been here, chilling out in my house, watching a bit of TV, <laughs> watching my my zebra show. Always got to watch my morning zebra show, and then the and then the fields and the chameleon. And can I can I change the channel? Or is it just turning it on and off? Oh. No, there's, no, there's only one channel. See, I've set it up so I've got like that there and then the switch. As if I sit here and get a switch. I need to call out Squashy here though, but not a good call out. Not a nice shout out. Because in her shop, Squashy had a giant, like enormous TV. Like a wall mounted TV. And I wanted it. And it was 20,000 bells. But I said if she buys it. I will give her back the money, and she forgot to buy it, and I told her off this morning. There were tears, there was shouting, things were thrown across the room. We are both very serious about Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got my nice little uh, TV for for now. Uh, I try to think if anything's changed in the, the house. Apart from obviously there's the upstairs, but that's empty. Uh, my bedroom hasn't really changed, but that doesn't matter because my bedroom is going to be moving upstairs. So I'm going to have like... The kitchen is obviously here. Oh, I know what's changed. Well, it hasn't changed yet. I bought this today. This costs 73,000 bells. 73,000 bells. But, but, check it out. Check it out. The perfect thing for my kitchen. Oh, yeah, I had got this new, um, this new, uh, tablecloth. Uh, this, uh, table with a tablecloth. Check out this thing, though. Get ready for this. The Imperial Dining Table. Ta-da! comes pre-packed with all of the food you can want. We've got dumplings, we got, um, oh, what's it called? Um, oh, what's the thing? The thing with noodles and like soupy. Ramen, we got ramen. We have a thing there. We have tea, pre-packed with tea. So I didn't know whether I was gonna have like a kitchen and a dining room. So this was my, my thinking for like the, the layout of my, of my house. I've got some sushi there as well. Um, I was thinking like living room, entrance, upstairs bedroom, downstairs basement, like gaming hangout room, which is the room I'm most excited to, to do. I've got like pinball machines and arcade machines and music players and stuff. That one's going to be awesome. But I need to spend like over a million bells to get that. And then kitchen diner on the right, bathroom at the back. And then on the left, which is going to be like my new spare room, I was going to have as like a... Kind of like a study, I guess. Like a place where I can do some writing. Uh, maybe like a bit of a library uh, as well. Uh, kind of a bit more of a sophisticated kind of room. If like the uh, the downstairs rooms, the immature gaming room, like the left room would be the, the other type. But then the other option would be to have that as a dining room. I just feel like dining room is just a bit boring, isn't it? Just a bit boring. The problem is, is here, it's just quite packed already. And if I tried to put like seats around this table... I don't know how well they'd fit. Oh, I know what might work. I got these like, these floor seats. Will these look like ridiculously low for this table? Hmm. I'm not so sure about this. You know what, I might, I might have to do this. Ugh. So I was gonna do the table against the wall. I think I need to get rid of this screen. This screen is like taking up, uh, sorry, this partition is taking up too much space. Uh, I, I, I keep forgetting I can just do it in, uh, in this view, can't I? So let's put you down here. Uh, let's just move you up here for now. Let's get you out of the way. And if I set this up right here. 
And oh, I'm over here. Does that look weird? Oh no, that looks perfect. Oh, it's a li it's a little bit like a. Uh, Eat my dinner, gonna eat my dinner, like just sco scooping it in. But yeah, maybe that's a little bit. <laughs> maybe that's a little bit too low. Can I quickly change the uh, the thumbnail for my video to this? He's like, it's too low down. Can't eat my ramen. Sad face. I got this new like heartbreak emote, and I just do it all of the time. We were trying to get some of our friends to join our world the other day, but they kept not being able to connect. And so I just said, actually, I think, I think I might have a picture of it. I sent them a picture of me just sitting like, oh. Oh, no, don't go to the eShop. Oh, it's the wrong button. Ah, uh, wrong button. No. Okay, it didn't quit me out of the game. I think I got a screenshot of it here. Yeah, so this is me and Squashy waiting for them to join. Just really sad on the bench. <laughs> waiting for them to get on the, the game. But it wasn't working. That was the thumbnail. This is me after I bought all my turnips. This is only one of my, I filled two rooms full of turnips. So, <laughs> that was just one of my turnip rooms. <laughs> oh, this was the, uh, when the coconut bandit and the flower bandit, they kind of teamed up. This was me showing off a giant fish. Yeah, me and Squishy hang out a, uh, a lot in, uh, <laughs> in Animal Crossing. This is us both being really sad on the toilet together. <laughs> this is us transfixed by a, uh, transfixed by a great TV show. It's us doing a little puzzle. Chilling out in the Zen Garden. Oh yeah, I do need to show you an update to the Zen Garden. Oh yeah, we also found out that um, when you're getting KK Slider to do his little song, the other person could just still be there and just run around and do stuff. So Squishy decided to, to join into KK Slider's song. Oh, hello David! Welcome back to the, the stream. As well as a Robin the Little Burb. And, uh, and Jake, TMG YouTube, just says big fan. Arsenal FC just does a laughing pair emote. And, uh, and Frank says, why do you live stream when I have work? I'm sorry! I mean, I didn't know when you had work, to be fair. You can watch it, you can watch it back later though. You can watch it back later. Hopefully you are still there to hear the, the shout out. Right, let's try a, um... Let's see if we can get a, a bigger chair to, to put down there. I do! So I bought this today, a piano bench. I mean, that could actually work. I got these, like, rattan stools. These could work out. I might look to see if... I wasn't actually going to be decorating the um the kitchen today. But, but because I bought this thing, I thought I'd try it out. Oh, no, not you. Did I not get the uh, the rattan one? Well, that, that kind of works, doesn't it? Let me, uh, let me sit down and make sure I can actually, like... Reach my food <laughs> while I'm sitting on it. There we go. That works. That works out okay. If I can get that brown, that would work. That would fit in really, really, really well. Uh, I just need to, to get some more of them. And then I guess this plant can still fit down in the corner. Well, let's put the plant here. And then I can put the, the food down in the corner. It just means that there's like, like the tea stuff in that. Like, the tea set and the kettle and that, like, there's just no room for it. But that's okay. Like, I don't need to, like, use every new thing that I get. I mean, I could maybe get rid of, like, the... Well, let's get rid of the coffee grinder. Because, let's be honest, I'm, I'm a tea guy through and through. Let's get rid of that. And then we'll place down the kettle there. There we go. That looks nice. Actually, I think I kind of like the other kettle. But actually, no, that kettle's fine. I'm overthinking it. So, yeah, then I'll order more of these rattan stools. And then we can do them around the, the area there. And I might just not be able to place one here. Because otherwise it's going to be a little bit... Oh, here as well. It's just so cramped. <laughs> we'll leave it for now. We'll leave the... Uh, we'll leave it. Uh, how do you use the uh, the Sahara tickets? Uh, asks Rob. Uh, I can show you now if you want. So uh, I bought like some... Um... So basically you, you buy like rugs and carpets and stuff. And then when you buy them... Uh, you get given tickets. It's kind of like a loyalty card thing. And then when you get five tickets, you uh, you get one for free. And oh, I got mail. Do you like the uh, the paw print on the uh, on the door? Raider got me that for me. Let's actually open these in order so I can see who they're from. I think this is just going to be a plaque to say my house is lovely. Oh, a writing desk! <gasps> oh my god! I like want to build like a study today. Oh, thank you. That was like. That was ridiculously good timing. <laughs> that was outrageous. 
Who's, who's Jolly? On behalf of all of us here on the Jolly Reds Treasure Trawler, I'd like to thank you for your wise, if I may say, uh, add final purchase of a warrior statue. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bought, I bought a statue from the shady art dealer. I don't know if it's fake or real or not. I guess we're going to have to see. If it's fake, I guess I can just have it in my house. And then Diva sent me something. So that's the warrior statue. And then Diva sent... Book stands?! I'm, I'm making a study today, and I randomly got sent book stands and a desk. Like, that's just like randomly from the game sent that to me. How how lucky is that? Oh, and then Squashy sent me something. It just says love. Oh, is it going to be the cute bed? Is it going to be the cute bed? I think it's just going to be the cute bed. There's an ugly bed we keep. Oh, no. Glass hole. Is, is it an actual nice thing? We keep sending this really horrible bed back and forth to each other. Oh, it's a little candle. I can have that in my study. Oh, what a good haul. Yeah, let me show you this warrior statue. Let me, uh, let me put it down and see whether you think it's real. The fact that they were saying, like, it's like the final purchase. Do you think this is fake? How do you tell? I mean, it is. A, it looks real enough. The thing is, I don't know if, I don't know if I'd, like, want it anywhere. Let's go and, um, speak to, to Blavers and see whether, um... Whether, whether it's real or not. Uh, I guess just uh, make a donation. Please be real. Please be real. It was quite expensive as well. Oh no! It's not fake, is it? Upon closer examination, I have grave news to share with you. This work of art is a fake. I cannot accept forgeries, you see, so I must give it back to you. Sad but true. Wow. Wow! How Does anyone know how you find out whether they're, they're real or not? Like, how do you find out if they're fake? How do you know? Because, like, when you go to buy them, it's like, oh, you can give it a closer examination if you want. And I, I look close, and I was like, well, it looks real. Is there any way uh, I use guides? Uh, oh, okay, Ella said a tip. Uh, you can tell if, uh, um, if paintings and or statues are real from the smallest of differences if you search up the normal Animal Crossing ones. There is a difference. But how do you search up the normal animal? Like, do you have to, have to just use a guide? Like, is there not a way in-game to try and, like... I was, like, really zooming in, like, looking for, like, anything that would make it... Like, make it seem fake. Look up the... I don't want to just, like, look up the... That kind of ruins the magic of it if you just look it up online. And at least I got this, like, this... Like, it looks real enough. Like, at least I can just use it as, like, a statue in my world. I don't know where I'd want to put it. Maybe throw it down here somewhere. Oh yeah, so decorate a bit more around here. Um, actually, I want to make a fruit basket. I can make a fruit basket now. That would fit in really well. Uh, I had like a little, a little basket of towels there next to the the pool, and kind of extended up here, like with the the beach stuff. And then yeah, this is the the Zen garden that I was building in the the last stream. Uh, I, I got a bunch more um, bamboo stuff, so I could make more bamboo things. So I added in like a little. Like water thing here, where the water kind of comes from nowhere and goes down into a bucket. Uh, I added these candles, which look really nice at night. Uh, I added a pond down here, uh, and then just loads of flowers uh, as well. So I added a few little candles down there, so I can sit here. So I went for just like mainly white roses, and then just like a, a few pink ones scattered through uh, as well. And then, if I lead you around here, these are a bunch more bamboo sticks that I planted today. Um, yeah, I added a, an incline, so you can easily get up and down here. I haven't got many inclines yet, and that's just because I know I'm going to be doing a bunch of terraforming, and I don't want to, like, make a bunch of them, and, like, spend loads of bells, then have to demolish them, and then have to do them again. Um, but yeah, I added a bunch of these here. Then I also added, like, I extended out this pond at the top up here, and I put this, like, statue thingy in the, the middle of it, and then uh, a few more waterfalls. So at the moment... They don't really lead <laughs> from anything. But eventually I'm going to build, build out that pond a little bit higher at the, the top. And then like kind of extend like the, the Japanese theming like all the way up to this top area here. Maybe have like another Japanese garden at the, the top. You know what? I could put my statue here for now. I'm probably going to end up just selling it. But 
There we go. We found a uh, we found a place for my for my fake statue in the end. Uh, hashtag uh, shop at Sahara says Eric. Okay, where or oh, where was Sahara? Has anyone seen Sahara? She's here. She's on the island today because I bought a rug from her. I ain't got much money money left though. I had a decent amount of money, then I had to buy that that giant dining table, and now I've ended up losing it all. I'm trying to think if there's anything else new in my town. Oh yeah, so uh, I extended this island out. Uh, I added some stepping stones and a little puzzle piece here. And then I was going to have a bridge on this side, but in the end I decided it's kind of fun just to jump across. So I just got some little hops you need to do to get across to there. Uh, this area I've just been clearing out of trees. And then this is like where my orchard is up here. Well, I've planted way too many trees that they don't even grow because there's a limit to the amount of trees. So... Basically, as any of these trees grow, I've been chopping them down. So this used to all be trees here. And then when one grows and has fruit, I just chop the whole tree down. So I'm gradually clearing this area because this is where we're going to be building soon. Maybe in today's stream. We'll see, uh, we'll see how much I, I get done. Right, where is, uh, where is Sahara then? Because I need to buy some things. Oh, hello. Hello, Marina. <laughs> She's like sitting under a tree. But she's like a squid or an octopus or whatever. So you just see her little tentacles. <laughs> she like stretches them all out in the morning. Sorry for not getting up. I'm really comfortable here. You're, you're fine. You you do you. You do you, Marina. Uh, I added in some more of these lamps. I added a bunch of the new bushes around the outside there. They've uh, only started growing. And some of the new types of flowers uh, I've planted down here uh, as well. And then in the, the flower beds, uh, oh, I've got some coconuts I haven't gathered here. Oh, yeah, in the, the flower beds, uh, I actually added, like, dark dirt underneath just to make them more, like, look like actual flower beds, which I think looks quite good. Uh, here I added just, like, a little, like, seating area. I don't have the log stools yet. Squashy did give me some, but for now I'm just using the logs. But I think it kind of works out quite well. So I think eventually I'm going to, like, decorate this by putting some stuff on the table, maybe some food and that. I always love it when I place something down and then the uh, the villagers just kind of end up sitting on it anyway. And it's like they're, they're kind of using it. Right, let me see if I can find Sahara. So yeah, for those that don't know who Sahara is, it is a camel that shows up kind of randomly to your world. Uh, and they sell like rugs and carpets and stuff. But they're all like random. They're like mystery rugs. Which is annoying because oh, there they are. There they are. Because sometimes you don't know what you're going to get. But it's kind of quite exciting as well. Uh, right, I kind of want rugs. The the big rugs are huge. Let's ask for a medium rug. Actually, I didn't actually look at the price. I haven't got much money. Okay, it wasn't too expensive. And then how many... Ticket I get two... Okay, then that's going to give me ten tickets. So now I can get, like, I think two, like, random floor I think I can get. Oh, so I can get mystery wall... So I think I've got pretty nice wallpaper that I like. So I'm going to go for some flooring. Right, let's see. Let's see what we got. I got more... T oh, no, I need one more. Okay, let's buy something else to get another ticket and then get something else as well. Snowflake rug I got. And then what's the, what's the flooring? Field flooring. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to see what that is when we uh, when we get back. Uh, let's get another rug though. Uh, let's just get another medium one, and then we'll get a, a ticket. And then uh, I think I'll get some more flooring. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use the field flooring, but I guess we'll see. Stampy, get TikTok and can you follow me? Uh, I don't have TikTok. I don't really plan on having TikTok. I don't 100% fully understand what what TikTok is. Maybe I'll, I'll wait for the uh, the new social media trend and I'll jump on that one earlier. Okay, it looks like I'm getting a, a wallpaper. Thank you to uh, to Farron Noob who says I love your laugh and your Minecraft series. Thank you as well to, to Nanny. Says, jokes on you, Stampy. I can't afford Animal Crossing. By the way, I love your videos. Best of luck with the books too. Uh, should be uh, saving money. Uh, but what's £10? Uh, I hope you have fun. Thank you so much.
Thank you as well to uh, Naveed again, who says I love cake, and uh, and Newland uh, as well for the donations. Oh no, what's wrong, Mac? Oh, well, this actually might be a good a good photo opportunity for us just both to be here really sad. I just love this heartbreak emote. It just makes me laugh so much. Oh, can I not turn the... Uh... Oh, I can't turn the camera around. Oh, I can't turn the camera around to see our faces. Oh, and he won't die. All right, let's, let's just talk to him, see if we can, uh, we can cheer him up. Wait, no, stop. Bring my muscles back. Ah! ah that was not a comfortable spot. Everything aches. <laughs> okay. You keep doing your... Off to catch some bugs. I love watching them try and catch bugs. <laughs> They're so bad at it. Have you ever watched them try and catch... I don't think I've ever seen them successfully catch a bug. Like, sometimes if I see them going after a bug, I just catch it for them and give it to them. <laughs> just because it's, like, so sad to see them try to catch it. <laughs> they spend so long getting ready, then they always miss it. <laughs> it's funny, though. Oh, is that a, a peacock butterfly? Oh, it's not. Yeah, so that's pretty much... I think I've showed you basically everything that's that's new. Uh, where did you get the graffiti in the background? What graffiti? Where was that? Right, so what I need to do is basically this bedroom, I kind of need to just to move like the the whole bedroom upstairs, basically. It doesn't take too long, to be fair. And then we can rearrange this upstairs in the, the new room. And then we, um, yeah, and then we'll come back down and we'll make this into the, the study. So let, let, let's pick the uh, the study wallpaper and stuff. So I was thinking for the, the study, I kind of like this. Oh, did I? The, uh, the honeycomb wallpaper? Doesn't that look quite cool? Like not with this, uh, this carpet, obviously. And then, what should we do with the flooring? So let's let's see what the new floors we got were. Oh wow! Oh okay. It's like literally just look. <laughs> ah! Wow! I mean, that's uh, if you want to look, bring the outdoors indoors. I guess if you want to be in a muddy field, I thought it would at least be like grass. I didn't think it'd just be like mud. <laughs> okay, we will uh not be using that. Oh, I should have got some more. Um, I need more flooring. I might have to, to go back to her, you know. Let's see these rugs. Ah, that's quite cute. Oh, did I, wait, did I, wait, did I, have I got two snowflake rugs? Did she give me the, did she give me the same one twice? What? I mean, I guess I agreed for her to do a random one. Uh, what can we do for Flora? I could go and look in the shop as well to see what we have. So what would go... Oh, actually, I've got a, uh, an avocado mat. That one might look quite nice in here. i got a uh, monochromatic dot floor. Right, so that's what I'm probably going to use in my playroom. Is this all going to be, like, a little bit too dark if I do this one? Hmm. That doesn't really go. But it's kind of the best we have for now. I'll look to see if we can buy some more. And let's just go and put... Oh, uh, okay, it's gross. Let's just leave. Okay, we we do the bedroom first. At least a little bit. And then we're, we'll come back down and see what else we can do to, to upgrade there. So yeah, let me show you my new room. It's enormous. It's so much, so much bigger than the uh, the other rooms. Look, it's like really like long and thin. I kind of wish all of the rooms were like this big. I Does anyone know whether like you can... um You can kind of keep upgrading the rooms to make them bigger. Because that would be really cool. Oh! Yeah, there we go. So that was, that was the room I had on my, my floor. And then I want that, like, horizontally, I think. Oh, actually, that kind of looks like a little bit, like, too, like, long, if that makes sense. I might do it vertically, and that might make it look a bit better. Yeah, I think I prefer that. And then I really don't have loads of furniture in here. Oh, where is all my furniture? Oh, is it all in storage, isn't it, now? So let's just like just let's just throw all of the stuff that would fit in for the bedroom, and then we can worry about uh, decorating it. So that's what I was gonna put in my like game room when I get to to that. My panda. Obviously, look at this as well. Arcade combat game. 
Another pinball machine. My second pinball machine. Got two coffee grinders for some reason. Maybe throw this in for now. My little bear. So this is stuff that would be good for my office. Is there anything else that I'm missing that would be good for the, the bedroom? Oh, there's that awful cute bed that I need to, to give back to Squishy. <laughs> Maybe put this uh, this stall in. There you go. There's a uh, there's something to to start with. Uh, where should we do the bed? We could do it like under the window. I don't know if it's gonna be like. Yeah, we can kind of almost like do two areas. So we can have like, this is like kind of the sleeping area. And then like the right, then we can almost have like a divide here and then have like more of a hangout space on the other side. With the rocket ship. <laughs> the room's almost like too big now. I don't I don't have enough like good bedroom stuff to, to fill it in. So we can do the wardrobe up here. Got my plant, which I stole from the kitchen. Uh, I kind of like the ways that I did the, the bears before. Actually, I might do them in this back corner. With like the, the panda and then the little bear down here is quite cute. Then we, yeah, I kind of want like um, a sofa or something here. I guess we can put the stool on this wall here. This can spin around and go down here. I'll put the candle on it. And then I guess I'll just throw the rocket ship down here. Yeah, I definitely need more, uh, more stuff. <laughs> the room's so big, like, it all fit in nicely in the other room. This room's, like, kind of, like, kind of, like, too big. <laughs> Can maybe put this in. And is there anything, like, that I could put onto it? Oh, I got my book. I could put the book next to, like, on the bedside table. As if like I've been reading at night, then maybe I can put this little uh this little bonsai tree down. Okay, we have a few more things. Like I haven't been like when I've been looking at the the shop, I haven't really been like looking out for for things to decorate my bedroom. To be fair, but now like I kind of know a little bit more that I want. I think I'll be able to. So let's put that down there. I just want to get like another nice sofa. I don't want that big horrible red sofa in again. So yeah, have my book on my bedside tail, which is kind of how it is in real life. I was with my book there. And then this can just go and sit down on there. There you go, this will do for now. I didn't really want this to be about decorating the bedroom. I want to go and see if I can do the uh, the study. The room is too big for a cat, says a uh, wolfie warlord. <laughs> like normally I'm just battling because I don't have enough space. Oh, where did you get the drift, uh, the giraffe? Pretty bird says, oh, the, oh, the real life giraffe. This So this was from a... um. It was a, a charity event that uh, my friend um, uh, Adam, aka Wizard Keen and Dragnos were doing uh, for, um, I think it's called We Are The Rangers. You might know, I, I uploaded like the charity video for it. And they were at an event and they had that giraffe. And giraffes are my favorite animals. And obviously I love Minecraft. And so seeing like a giant version of a Minecraft giraffe, I was like, I gotta have it. Like, they're just gonna throw it away after the event, right? I gotta have it! And so, I messaged them, and they were like, Right, if you tweet out the charity, we give you the giraffe. And so I did, and so they sent me the giraffe, and now the giraffe's been in the room ever since. True story. Right, let's see, let's see what we have here. So we want good, like, flooring. Uh, the dark block flooring might look okay. Hmm, not a great selection, is there? Oh, I can't even afford it. I'm going to have to go to the bank. I'm going to have to go get some money out. I always try and have some money saved in the bank because I always run out of money money, money on Sunday for uh, for turnip day. So, um... I always try and have some save. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to dig into my savings. It's been an expensive day. Uh, can we have Alex Cam? Oscar says, sorry, Alex isn't in the, the room right now. Uh, she's quite hyper at the moment. We haven't been able to walk her yet. She's just been tipping it down with rain. You might actually see my hair's actually, like, quite wet still. 
I was out in the garden with her trying to get her to go toilet for ages because normally she holds it in until we're going on for a walk. And so apparently it's going to stop raining later, so we're going to walk her a little bit later, so... Uh, let me just check see if she is outside the door. I think she's with Squishy. She's off somewhere. I always leave my door shut when I'm streaming, so I don't want to, um... To, like, leave her, like, locked in the room if she wants to go and run around and play and stuff, so... She wants to go chase the cat or whatever. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big loan, says Noodle Fox. I know! It's gonna be so long till I upgrade it. So long. And it's annoying because the, the basement is the bit that I want. That's the room that I've been really, like, excited for this whole time. That's a lot of money. That's not a lot. That's, like, nothing. Like, the big number was the money that I need to pay. The money that I have wasn't very much at all. <laughs> but I've, I've started learning the, um... I'm gonna go for that one. I think it would be too dark otherwise. Because the one I got at the moment was like really dark and that didn't really work out. Uh, yeah, I've been really trying to play the uh, the turnip game a little bit better. And, I, and that's like the way to make a lot of money. So I didn't have like a giant profit margin, but I brought loads and loads of turnips. And then even though I didn't like, I sold them like, I think I bought them for like 94 bells each. And then sold them for 140. But because I bought so many of them, it kind of ended up being quite a lot. Like, I play at very low risk. Right, let's try this uh, this new flooring. Was it this one? Oh, there we go. I mean, that looks a bit better. Like, th this will change. This will change. But we have to pick with something now. This green does not work very well with it. Uh, right then. Let's, um... Let's see what we have. Let's check out the new desk that I just randomly got given today. Oh, it's perfect! That was like, perfect! <laughs> like, literally randomly got it today. And then someone gave me like a bunch of books or like book stands. Okay, so we, we need like some sort of surface to put that stuff on, don't we? Then Squishy got me the, the candle. So what else can we put in here? I might put in the sound system for for now. I always do have music playing while I'm working. I kind of want you to be able to see it. Like, the worst wall to put stuff is always this wall down here. Because with the angle that you come in, like, no one can ever see it. <laughs> it's the beehive wall stampy. They don't work with anything. They will, like, they're like, I'm just going to have a very different colour. Like, if I went for something, like, more white on the floor, it would look okay. The reason it looks weird is when it's, like, a slightly similar colour to it. It, like, it can, like, clash. So I think, I think that's, that's our downfall right now. What else will we put in here, to be fair? <laughs> I'm very glad I got that, that desk. Um, because otherwise I would not know what to do. So I've got a typewriter, I got this. I could put this in here. Some incense, maybe. It's like kind of throwing down all of the uh, the possible stuff that I'll add in. A toilet? Should I add a toilet? Just right in the middle of the room. I could have a, uh, a chalkboard could actually work. So it's kind of like my my real office. Where I've got like my, my big white... Ooh, where is it? There is a, my big whiteboard here. Um, so I could have like a chalkboard up. That would kind of make sense. I might do the screen in here. Uh, this lamp would go really well. I just kind of need more like... Like, surfaces. I might have to see what else I can craft. Right, let's see if there's a, a way we can uh, we can arrange all this stuff. Maybe I'll do my desk down, like, on this side. So when I'm, like, writing, you'll be able to see it. Oh, yeah, I need, like, a, a chair for that as well. So then I'll do the blackboard back here. And then I might do, like, next to where I'm writing... Do like a little like screen. No, I need the uh, the desk. Should be like facing the window. Or oh, does it kind of block the window a bit? Uh, kind of kind of blocks it a little bit though. But I like the idea of being able to look. No, it blocks the window too much. Maybe I'll do it like next to the window here. 
and then I'll do the screen like here and move this stuff. And then I guess for now, I could either do oh the, there is a writing chair would work. I was gonna do the this, but like it's literally called a writing chair. Like I gotta use it. <laughs> I don't really know what like the uh, the color scheme of this place is going to be. And on uh, on this, can I place anything on there? No, that's not like an actual surface. I guess I put the the lamp here so it's like facing us. Can I put stuff on the stereo? No. Right, yeah, I just need to find, like, more, um, like, table tiles. This, this is what I'm always after, is, like, more, like, surfaces. But I only ever have, like, huge dining room, like, table and stuff. Uh, do I have golden roses? Says, uh, says Daisy Cramp. Uh, I don't yet, but I think I know where to do them. Don't you need, like, I need a, um, a golden watering can. And I haven't got one of them yet. So I don't think I can, uh, I can do that yet. Uh, see you later, David. David has to go. Thank you to uh, to Jackie R. Thanks for the other uh, donation. Right. What what do I have here that would fit in nicely? Oh, the um the wooden end table that could actually work quite well as a surface. And I got stuff like that which would work, but I've got that in my bedroom already. I don't know if I should like double it up. Thank you, uh, Noodle Cat, for the uh, the donation. Uh, the it says message restricted, so I don't know what you wrote though. Well, oh, the ironwood chair. Peach peach chair. Should I sit there doing my work on a peach? Oh yeah, a stack of I, I want to make a stack of books, but I need five books. I've actually ordered a bunch of uh, of books that are going to show up because that would be perfect as well, wouldn't it? God, I really don't have much, do I? I might make... Maybe, like... One of those bedside table things. So I just need wood to make that. And then I just need, like, another bigger table. Or oh, I could do the, uh, the wooden block chest uh, as well. <laughs> Look at all this stuff I got. I got so many materials. Every time I'm like, um, like chopping down trees and stuff, or like gathering fruit, I just get like as much as I can. But it's good to have loads because then in the shop, when there's suddenly something that's like the hot item, like say the hot item is something that needs loads of hardwood, I can just make like loads of them and make loads of money that way. So yeah, that's why I got like so much stuff. I might have to, to customize these. Let's try and pick on like a more of a color scheme. It's quite dark, I guess. So maybe kind of like dark brown and like orange. If I try and keep everything kind of like those styles would look quite good. Uh, do you have Animal Crossing Pocket Camp? No, I never played it. Like I never heard like good things from it. I think a lot of people that like played it and hadn't played other Animal Crossing games really enjoyed it. Just because they didn't kind of know like what they were missing out on. But I think like from playing like an Animal Crossing game like this, then going back to, to Pocket Camp, I think I'd end up like missing out on a bunch of like the, the new things they added here. Uh, should I get Animal Crossing, Matthew says? Uh, I don't know. Like if you think you like this kind of game. Like I already enjoy it. Right, let's see, uh, let's see how we can customize the things we just made. Oh yeah, they're like the really colorful toy ones. I mean, I guess like, that's the closest we're gonna get. It looks pretty cool like that. Uh, how do you get customization kits? You gotta buy them, and they're so expensive! Especially because like, everything you craft costs like a bunch of money. Um, I guess like that, the, the dark wood's going to be the, the closest to what we want. 
The question is, does this make you want to play it? Yeah, I guess that's the other thing. Like, I don't, like some people are like, they just really get into these games where you're kind of like really decorating and kind of coming up with your own style. And other people, they just want like, uh, they want like more direction in their games, if that makes sense. Like there's a, like so many games that come out now are just like to-do lists. It would be a big open world and a big list of like all of these objectives that you need to do and you just need to go through and complete all the objectives. And like you'll be rewarded with new levels or items or loot and stuff like as you do it. And that's kind of like all the game is. And like that's fine. Like if people enjoy that, like that's fine. But I get kind of like bored of that stuff. I think I just don't care about like leveling up in games and stuff. Like every multiplayer game you play now, you finish a match and it's like, you gained this much experience or something. I was like, oh, I don't care. Like, I just had fun playing it. Like that's that's enough for me. <laughs> and so with games like this, like they've added in now the system with like the Nook Miles. So you always have like these objectives or things that you need to complete. And it, it kind of, for those that load up the game and they have no idea what they want to do, it's kind of good to say like, hey, like you could try doing this. Like you'll get rewarded. But then at the end of the day, the people that are going to really get into it are the people that kind of like, like self-motivate, you know, they do a thing because they want to do a thing, not because they were like told to do the thing. Uh, tell me, let's get rid of this. You know what? These things, these things suck. I know they, <laughs> I know they're a very office -y thing. Uh, it's called a, a gameplay loop, says a, a Vantor. Is that like the, the technical term then? Like, because I know like the gameplay loop is often termed for like, so say if you're playing a game where like you're attacking a compound and it'll be like you scout out the area, then you like go stealth and then you get into fight and then you get rewarded. Like that's kind of like the the gameplay loop. Uh, what I might do then is I might not put this here. I kind of want to place on my island, which is like my like getaway place to go writing, if that makes sense. Like a place that... It's just like a really pretty scenery in the background and I just have a table and a typewriter like almost in the middle of nowhere. I think it would be really cool. Alright, I might put this here. And put this up here. And I had that candle that Squishy got me. I could go and put that down. There we go. This is looking a little bit better. And then also I realised that in this room... Uh, I have like a, a box of um, of records that I got. Do you all you do you all you know what records are? <laughs> do you know what vinyl records are? Like they're before my time, as well. But I'm always never sure. Like so I got such like a a strange <laughs> a strange audience <laughs> when I stream, and I mean that in the. Uh, in the nicest way possible. Yeah, we're not that dumb. I'm not saying you're dumb. I'm not saying you're dumb, honestly. But like, I have such a, a weird mix of like, age ranges. Because I think now the, the majority of people still watching are people that like, used to watch like, my Minecraft videos or whatever, like years ago. And people have like, either stuck with me all that time or they've kind of come back to, to check out. So there's a lot of like, older people uh, some people my age, and then there's a lot of people that are younger who are just checking out at the the same time. So it's always kind of like, <laughs> it's like it's always just such like a, a weird mix. And so like the the way I kind of do my um, like think about it is like I don't think about it <laughs> if that makes sense. Like I don't I don't consider really that much who I'm talking to when I'm speaking because otherwise I get like. Oh, I shouldn't say this word because they might not understand it. Like, or even like when people are from different countries, like, oh, I shouldn't like make this reference because they won't understand it. Or like if I talk about this TV show that I watched when I was a kid, have they seen it or are they older than me? So I think that you can get super bogged down in that stuff. Why are these like, I want these like, um, like those are the same type of chair, but like darker. I kind of want like a, a dark, I kind of want even darker than that to be fair. You know what, even though this is a writer's chair, I think it just doesn't really fit in. Let me see, uh, let me see what else I have. That rat and stool could actually work really well. Stampy the all-age YouTuber, Rocket Willing says. That's kind of the way it is. Like, like, Lester, like, it used to be, like, mainly younger, earlier. 
But I think people are always surprised. Like, the amount of, like, comments when people go, like, like, oh my god, like, I'm 23 and I'm watching him, but I'm watching with all these five-year-olds. It's like, no, like, it was all... It's always been, like, more mixed than people think. Like, just based on, like, people that I meet in real life and stuff, like, I think that there was always the, uh, the assumption that it was, um, like, super, super young. There we go. I think that looks a little bit better. How'd you think of this for my for my little study then? There's an obvious gap where I could add something in here, but there's no there's no rush to, to do that. Like this is like quite a, a nice start, and then I can kind of think about adding more. I wonder whether um any of these rugs would uh would fit in. Let me let me go and see what all uh what rugs I have. I've got that one, which I don't think will fit. Then I just got that green one. I could go to Sahara and um, maybe just try and take a risk on another one. The snowflake one, uh, I mean, uh, not really. It doesn't really fit, does it? Could maybe work in my bedroom. What about that? Is that like a bit much or... I mean, that kind of works all right, doesn't it? Let me try the uh, the green one. But like just in that corner. Ooh, that looks all right. Okay, green or Persian? I want to see all of your best spelling of Persian. Green or Persian in the chat. So green one here or the Persian one over the whole floor. Can I like, um, can I like team them up? Can I like have both? Whoa, okay, everyone's just saying green. Everyone's saying, okay, no, no worries. No worries, green it is. Green, it, it looks good, doesn't it? And it, it fits with like, because I got like this green bit here, and then I got like the stool and stuff that are green as well. So there are like touches of green. My little little incense stick as well down here. Right, all of the uh, the stuff I don't need. Let's go put that in my pocket, and let's say for now, for now, this room is uh, is done, but it's going to be a, a constant process. But the the biggest part of these rooms is not the uh, the decorating. It's the deciding which song is going to be playing when I come into this uh, into this room. Well, it's going to be some nice background music for when I'm working. Oh, this, so this is the song that I have in my living room. I think this is my favorite one. Kara says, "No green." I'm sorry. You are outvoted. I think I might go for the blues one. I can imagine me sitting here right into this. Shall I shall I take a picture in my in my new room? This is me when I'm stressed because I can't I can't think what to write. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Oliver says do something besides home design. Okay, well we're we're just about done with home design, so so good timing, right? So I really wasn't going to be um doing it in this stream, but well, I had good timing. So let me go and explain what my my next idea is. Totally, Sean says, "Yay, no more camera flip." Yeah, I know, I fixed it. I fixed the camera. I worked out the the problem, and I was able to to fix it. Well done, mate. Uh, Rocket Willing says, uh, "I always find it funny when people say that you're their childhood hero, hero, and I'm just sitting here like thinking I'm older than him. He was my young adulthood." <laughs> I know, but I think everyone just assumes that. Like, I think the the older people that watch just assume that everyone else is like kids. But it was like always relatively mixed. But now, from the people that have stuck around for a long time, and you know maybe were younger when they started watching and are now older. Like, more so than ever. Like, I've probably got one of, like, the most, like, mixed um, communities on YouTube. Right, let's tear out some of these trees. Hopefully these weren't money trees. Can't be bothered to check. So, what I want to do. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Let's bring up, let's bring up the map. Let's, uh, let's oh, I can bring up my old whiteboard again. Who remembers that? When I told you my plan last time. Right, this was my old plan. Oh, hello! Hello! <laughs> hello! That's a that's a very big close-up, isn't it? 
get back. Right, okay. So this was my this was my plan. I don't know why that was so zoomed in then. Uh, this was my plan for my Zen garden. Was it which way around is that? No, it was that way around. Okay, so I'm gonna try and draw a plan that actually makes a uh, a little bit of sense this time for what I want to do. And I know you can't see the screen yet. Let me get the map up in game. So, okay, we're gonna have. Our orchard is too big because the trees don't grow anymore because there's too many trees. Okay, so this is so imagine the island. Let me just show you. Let me just show you. The, actually, I put it in the corner. So here's the island, right? So this is like the beach going along the side, like like that, and then it goes on down here. So all I'm focusing on is like the top left corner of the map. Okay, see where the little marker is for where I am. That's the area I'm focusing on. So at the back, we're gonna have the orchard along here. So these are going to be all the trees in a row, all along here. And this is going to be flat level, so not raised at all. So at the moment, it's like tier three mountain. That's going to be flattened, which is going to take a long time. So I probably won't do that all today, don't worry. Then there's going to be a path going up the middle, leading to a clock, which is going to be in the middle of that area. Okay, so then this is all going to be flat. But then here, we're going to have a raised up two mountains. That's going to be raised and raised again. And then here, we're going to have like a nice area really high up where you can kind of look out over the orchard. And then there's also going to be like a telescope and it's just going to be like a nice little hangout spot as well. And then here, we're going to have an incline going... I don't know if you can see this at all. An incline going up like that and then up the other way like that. So that goes up like there and up like there, which is your way to get up to the, the mountain. And then, then mountains around like here like that as well, just like tier two. That makes no sense, does it? Anyway, that's the plan. I've tried to explain it. Now, when everyone joins in the stream and says, what are you trying to do? I can say, I tried to tell you. I failed. <laughs> that's the plan. So one of the first, one of the first things I want to do is I want to see from when I build high up, how far into the, the distance will I be able to, to see? Because I, I, I don't want it to be like, because because like the whole island's kind of like on a cylinder. I want to make sure that like it doesn't like, like go off into the horizon, if that makes sense, or under the horizon by the way it curves. So I kind of want to, let's just make one clear path with these trees. So let's, let's dig up some of these trees. I guess if I just go down this bit here. These are just peach trees. So I'm probably going to end up just getting rid of all of these. Right, so many of these will just won't grow anyway. Oh, hello. Hello, I'm streaming. I'm streaming, Squishy. Squishy's coming with her pyjamas, carrying a dog. Hello. <laughs> I made a, uh, I made a study. Yeah. I put, I put the candle that you got me in it. Did you like it? That was lovely. So I was making a study today. I got two random gifts from villagers in my island today. Yeah, I opened them on stream. One was for a writing desk and the other one was for like a stack of books. Perfect. Just ran like randomly today. But I was like, oh. Wow, your villagers are so different to mine. I had one time where like oh. I was walking around the island and two of my villagers decide to give me workout gear. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. Basically, like, the same kind of workout gear in one day. I'm like, Oof. wow. <laughs> Kaylee Hello. says, oh no, it's the coconut bandit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not opening my gate. <laughs> the funny thing is, I think people think that, like, the flower bandit and the coconut bandit is, like, a thing we do in streams. But we're always just doing it when we go to each other's worlds anyway, yeah. like all the time. There was a time where you went in the house. I'm, I'm building this. Oh, wow, that's really, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just the plan. That's just the blueprint. Really? Wow. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm building. No, it looks really good. Yeah, I can see exactly what it is. <laughs> I can see exactly what it is. Yeah, I can see exactly what yeah. it is. Yeah. 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 Oh, what? It's dangerous to modify this clip. Oh, because yeah, there's a tree. Those trees are too close. All right. Let's go. Okay. I was scared it wasn't going to let me dig the whole way back then, though. You're doing what I was just doing in Minecraft. I was strip mining. Oh, really? 
So, like, are you going to explain this? I have, ex I have explained, explained it. it. Everyone understood it perfectly. What about me? I didn't get it. Well, obviously, you're dumb. <laughs> Wow. Obviously. Oh my god. Obviously. I just insulted everyone today. I insulted all the stream earlier. Really? What's yeah. wrong with you? I said about how weird they are. It's because so, you haven't gone out on your walk today, have you? Yeah, I'm getting stir crazy. You're getting mean. Alex pooed in the garden, by the way. It was really raining earlier. You pooed in the garden? Oh, it's still really raining now. It is really raining, yeah. I don't know if you want to try taking her out. You can have a shower. I'm showered, yeah. You don't need a shower. Just go outside and have a shower. Yeah. <laughs> Cue the divorce papers. Are you going to do a 10 million subscriber countdown? I think it'd be like a long countdown. Subscribe, my subscribers aren't really going up, I don't think. <laughs> oh, look, there's a little patch. <gasps> I just I discovered a little place. Oh, let me go around here. You have oh. to destroy that. This doesn't even feel like I'm playing Animal Crossing anymore. I feel like I'm playing something just singing Halo. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's my that's my default song I go to is Halo. Oh, can you play Halo Infinite when it comes out? Someone just said. <laughs> that's weird. Oh, I can't that's get weird. around. Uh, I can't get around. <clears throat> yeah, forget it. We love a little patch. Because there's the bit where the uh, the guy's boat shows up, isn't there? I can't see. It. I can't see it. Where am I? <laughs> well, there I am. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Uh, maybe we won't build around there. Yeah, so all, all, the reason I built that, like, where even am I? That patch was just to see, like, how far into the distance can I see. So let me, let me place, find something to place down there and use that as, like, my, my marker. So it said, sing the Katamari Damacy song. Da, 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 Katamari Damacy, da, da, da. Right, you butterfly. No, you butterfly. You you can be our marker. Congratulations, common butterfly. I'm gonna place you at the back down here, and I'm gonna see from how far away can I see you if I build up. Because if I do it like, oh, you got a friend. If I did it on just ground level, oh no, wrong thing. Ta-da! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I do have the glasses. I thought you noticed didn't I? Oh no. Oh. Didn't, didn't think this through. <laughs> Because if I just stayed on the ground, it will go out of view quite like quite soon, I think. Yeah, so it gets to here. But honestly, if I build up a mountain like here, will I be able to see it? No. That is that is what I'm trying to work out. Oh, Squishy, can you and Alex come to face cam? <laughs> I'm in my pajamas. I don't know if I can see you. Not yet. I'm on like a little camera. Alright, let me switch to extra wide. <laughs> extra wide lens. Let, let me switch to room view. I got like a little security camera set up. Hello. Hello. I've got teapots on my shorts. Just thought I'd show that off. Ah. There you go. There's dog. Ugh. Very. We're all in PJs, someone said. That's true. Yeah, Stampy's the weird one. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Right, yeah. I'm gonna go, bye! Nice shorts, thank you! <laughs> yeah, did you want to take, um... Take Puppy out? I need to shower first and then shower. Okay. Oh, you want to come with me? Where was... We're on our walks together. It's like our thing. How many walks it's have I gone on thing. by myself but because it's our you're thing. not? We do it together. <laughs> it's our thing. <laughs> do you hate me? <laughs> do you hate? Do you hate Alex? Do you hate everyone? Do you hate everyone? Why? Why was it? Why is it not letting me build up? Why am I just doing this? Why can't I build higher? Because it's not enough space, is it? I don't know. Well, you only need one bit of oh space. Oh my gosh, you're so angry today. <laughs> Sam's, I don't think you should be streaming. You're so angry. <laughs> What's this aggression? <laughs> Why can't I build it? It won't let me build. Imagine raging at Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to rage quit this game. I just don't understand. 
Anyone know what I'm doing? Oh, needs three by three. Okay. But if this doesn't work, I'm throwing my controller through that TV, I tell you. <laughs> Right, is it going to let me put one in the middle? Aha! There we go. Can I put another one here? Right, so don't, this isn't how it's going to be. This is me. I, I need to see whether I'm going to be able to see the, uh, the butterfly. Oh, Squishy's little Alex in the room. Sorry, pop me. Ah. Oh, can I see the... I can't see, I can't see the but I, I thought I'd be able to see, like, further around. Being this high up. Hmm. It's a bit of a shame. Let me see if I could see a tree from all the way back there. Because there's going to be like one corridor going down the, the middle. Then all of the, the trees. I was hoping that I'd be able to see like further into the, the distance. Let me go. I got some like coconuts down. <laughs> and Joey just running around. <laughs> I got some coconuts just down here. Let me go and grab them to make myself strong. Oh, where are the, uh, where were the coconuts? There was, there was somewhere where I had, like, all my coconuts I hadn't got yet. Oh, I think it's down over on the left over here, actually. Uh, what rating does your island have, asked Molly. I don't know. Should I go see? Let's go see what my rating is. Thank you to, uh, to Ramsey, who, uh, donated and thanks me. Thank you as well to, to Chicken Nugget. He says, uh, hi, some people be wondering, uh, do you still play Splatoon 2? Uh, I love Animal Crossing, by the way. Thanks for being so awesome. Uh, I haven't played it in a while, actually. I will I will be honest. Animal Crossing's kind of been stealing all of my, my Switch time at the moment. Oh, how do I, um... Oh, yeah, there we go. The Island Evaluation. So you're curious about the image of Lovely. Right now, Lovely has a four-star rating. That's pretty good, isn't it? This is big. We're a regular on many folks' list of top 10 places they'd like to visit. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. I started visiting the island because my brother moved here, but I instantly fell in love with the place. Many communities build themselves so big and bright that you can hardly make out a star in the night sky. Not on Lovely. I shall be a regular visitor to its shores and skies for some time. Oh yeah, well we're, we're kind of building a lot of stuff now, so maybe we're going to ruin that. Well, there you have it. Compared with the last report, more folks responded positively to our island scenery. Of course, there's always room for improvement, isn't there? So keep contributing however you can, and soon this island will be decorated to perfection. If you have used the resources found on the island and decorated with these items you've created, I bet you can improve blah blah blah. Okay, okay. Okay. Like, I don't, I don't care about, like, their, like, their feedback. Like, I just want me to like it. I don't want, like other people to come and rate it. Like, I just want it to be nice for me. I don't need their approval. I'm my own island representative. <laughs> Do you get anything for getting the island five star? Oh yeah, apparently there's someone in the campsite, by the way. I forgot about this. I've not seen them yet. Let's see who's here. <laughs> Load of people are saying they'd give it five stars. You are grumpy, says Nicholas. I'm not grumpy, I'm joking. Oh, hello, Piggy. Hi, my name's Gala. I'm here on a camping trip. Do you live on the island? Snorty. Oh, she's cute. Uh, this must be a regular place to live if everyone's as friendly as you. Oh, I'm, I haven't done anything yet. Oh, she's just here for a sandwich. <laughs> I'm planning to use this downtime to read some of my book backlog. So nice to have a break from the usual chores like this, Naughty. Well, I hope you have a an enjoyable stay on our four-star island. Here were the coconuts. Uh, you can replace someone with her? Yeah, do I just, like, keep talking to her? Jack says, Stampy's not grumpy, he's my bro, lol. <laughs> A good tip, by the way, for like when you're starting off and before you can build the bridges, as soon as you can do the terraforming, 
Just do like little like, just make the rivers a bit thinner in certain places so you can just jump over them. Kind of like I did here. Like if I just make this river a bit stronger, you can just jump across them. Like and then when you can afford a bridge, just make it a bit wider and put the bridge in. There's a little tip. Little tip for free. Right, let's uh, let's put one of these, uh, let's get one of the big trees and put it down at the back. It is so curly, especially when you see it cut. You can see just how like curved the world is. <laughs> Your hair is... <laughs> I think it's still a bit wet. I was out in the garden trying to get Alex to do a poo earlier. And my hair got all wet. I was really tipping it down. <laughs> All right, thank you, butterfly. You served your purpose, but you were you were set free, ready to be sold to the shop. Uh, would you stream Jazz Punk? Your island is fab, uh, says Sprinkle. Um, I actually thought about. It. I actually mentioned it in a stream the other day. I was going through like I got like a magazine of like all feel good games, and it was in there. So I actually uh, considered it. Oh, it won't let me plant it here. Right, let's dig out the air a bit. We are really making a mess of my island. But, like, this whole area is going to be changing soon anyway. So, I don't really kind of care about keeping this area, like, looking that good. Just because I know I'm going to be switching it all around soon enough anyway. Oh, I need to get the shovel out. I really want to get the gold tools. I get so annoyed when the tools break. Oh, that is way, way, way higher. So obviously I can't see it now. What about if I go... I, I want to be able to just see the top of it, maybe. If I go into up here. Oh, it doesn't make much difference. If I tilt the camera, I can see it? Hmm. Okay, this is alright. I'm just going to make the uh, this cliff area... A little bit further inland than I than I first intended. That's all right though. Right, let's start. Let, let's start like digging away a bunch of this land then. All right, goodbye tree. So I, I think the the best way to do this is to. To mark out where, like, the whole orchard bit is going to be. And then build the, the cliff bit overlooking it. Uh, Stampy, what are we doing? Oh, I did explain earlier, but if you weren't here then, uh, we're going to be building this. Okay, now you fully understand what we're doing. Uh, we can uh, we can carry on. <laughs> we can carry, carry on building. Yeah, so some of these trees I'll save and replant, but like, the peaches are so cheap anyway. So what I think I'm gonna do is just do like, one, one row of each of the, the different types of tree. So we have like, what are all the types of fruit? We've got oranges, cherries, uh, apples, peaches, and pears. So was, is that like five? Oranges, apples, cherries... Peaches, pears, and then there's kind of coconuts, which are only on the beach. So it's just going to be five rows of trees. I can just jump this, can't I? And then... So even though it's only going to be five rows, I can obviously... Um, I can go, like, as far to, like, as wide as I want. And I'll try and work it out so I kind of, like... Almost max out the amount of trees that we can have with that. I don't need to, like, completely max it out. Because, obviously, I'm going to have other trees, like, around the, the place uh, everywhere. Uh, Molly says, will you ever get TikTok? No pressure, lol. Uh, I don't think so. Like, I've not really, like... I don't know. There's a lot of weird stuff in the TikTok community. And, like, I, I find it quite cringy. Like, like, there's some that are genuinely funny, but, like... I'm actually just like going crazy howling. I think I got a uh, a parcel arriving today. It's so weird because like when the doorbell goes, like you can't answer it because you can't. You're not allowed to go close to anyone. So normally they just ring it to like let you know. Yeah, they're just leaving the leaving the parcel in the porch. 
There's actually dog treats in the parcel as well, so that's why Alex gets so excited. <laughs> TikTok is all about the cringe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to be part of it. Like, I, I just know I'd have no interest in watching other people's TikToks. I'm not going to make them, so. Like, I've got enough, like, I've got enough social media stuff. Like, I'm not a big social media person anyway. Like, Twitter's the main thing I look on. Facebook I use, like, just to message people. Like, I never, like, literally, e like, never, ever, ever post anything on it. It's just to, like, I just use it for, like, Facebook Messenger. And then Twitter's, like, it's, like, a quick way to get, like, instant news. And then it's the way I le let people know about videos. And, like, it's kind of how I talk to, like, the YouTube community. He's crazy there shouting, like, okay, boomer. <laughs> just because you're always on, like, Instagram and Twitter all day long. She's okay. Blah, 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 blah. I just say, why well, I don't want to go on TikTok. I don't want to add like another thing to the list. <laughs> She's there going, I don't do the tickety talks. <laughs> Facebook is for keeping in touch with your elderly relatives. <laughs> it's so funny because I, re I remember when Facebook came I remember. I remember when Facebook came out. And you literally, you had to be like in education to join. Like, I had to sign up with my college email account because you, like, you you needed to, and it was all like, you know, it was all the kids on there. And then now, then it was like, I remember then there was the crossover where it was like, oh my god, like my mum's on Facebook, how weird. And now it's like, fully gone the other way where it's like, oh my god, like this young person's on Facebook, what? Like, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna happen with all of them. It's gonna like age out. This kind of happened a bit with Twitter, where Twitter was once again, it was all the kids, and then now it's like, you know, everyone's on it. Uh, do you have any villagers you want to get rid of? Yeah, I got a demon bunny. I don't want the demon bunny anymore. I want to get rid of them. <laughs> I used to use Facebook to try and get in the, the love garden. Yeah, so back in the day when I was kind of doing all my Minecraft stuff, it was actually um, a pretty good way to, to keep in contact with people. But then they ended up like... Um, oh, stop, I don't want to make the slopes. Uh, yeah, they ended up like like uh, making it so you couldn't like, like a certain amount of posts. Because what I'd always try and do with my like stampy Facebook was like... I used to get like a lot of messages on there. And it would always... Um, like, I'd go through, like, every single one of them. And obviously, I couldn't reply to every single one of them. Like, I just wouldn't have time. But, like, I'd try and, like, like every post that I've, like, read or seen the picture for. And then Facebook started telling me off, saying, oh, I'm, like, liking too much stuff. So I stopped being able to like things. Then people start getting angry, thinking I haven't seen their stuff. And, like, people get, like, really, like, mean at you when, like, they think you're ignoring them. When normally it's, like, like, either I can't reply or, like, I just haven't seen it. Like, the majority of my messages on Xbox is people angry at me saying that I'm ignoring them, even though, like, I can't see their messages. I've got notifications on. But that's, like, that's what literally about 50% of my messages are, as people, like, saying, like, I invited you to play this game, but you ignored me. Well, I guess we're, uh... We're pretty committed to this plan now, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to change my mind now. I'd have to to go and put go and put this all back. Lightning the Wonder Dog says, "Not that your diagram wasn't amazing, but I'm still a little confused." <laughs> okay, so I will for everyone this view. I will reiterate what the uh, the current Animal Crossing plan is. So. Uh, I'm reading. Oh, look at that! I got it free at the same time. Uh, I'm moving my orchard, so I'm gonna at the moment like basically like the whole top of my island was just trees planted, but nothing was growing because I had too many trees planted. So I'm gonna have the trees on a lower level down here, all in a row. Then I'm gonna have a mountainy area, probably somewhere around here, uh, and then um, like that's gonna just be like, hopefully a really nice view over the area. And just like a, a cool hangout place anyway. And then I'm going to have like a path going straight down the middle of the orchard. Uh, and then 
uh, in the middle of the path is just going to be like a, a clock. It's just like a nice feature. Like, I've got, I've got it in my head what it's going to look like. Maybe it doesn't sound very, uh, maybe it sounds a little bit underwhelming when I, when I describe it. But I think it will be, uh, I think it will be cool. And Raider Wolf's online. Raider Wolf's given me, like, a bunch of, uh, good stuff. She gave me the arcade machine. She gave me the, uh, the paw print on the, the front of my, of my house. And I know she does sometimes jump in the streams, so. If you're out, if you're there quietly watching Raider, thank you for the, uh, the Animal Crossing help. It's much easier to, to dig away when you're, like, digging through the middle. Because then it doesn't try and, like, make it into to corners. Who has the ugly bed, Squashy or you? I think I got it at the moment, Seagull Club. I think I ended up with it. The noise of you breaking the land is so nice. It's really satisfying. Oh, do you want to see the most satisfying sound in the game? I keep getting super distracted from what I'm doing. All right, this is my my peace be with you outfit. <laughs> Normally I have a flower in my hair rather than the hard hat. But yeah, look, I got like wooden shoes. Let me turn the sound up. Listen to the sound when I run along on a path. Is that not the best sound in the world? I like it. Uh, let, let's let's go to my uh, let's go to my my boring outfit. Seems as we're doing something boring and just breaking away mountain. Got to be in the uh, the appropriate <laughs> the appropriate outfit to do something boring. Maybe I should get like some sort of like construction outfit. I really want to like expand my my outfit selection. Stampy ASMR coming. <laughs> Sadly, this, uh, I think this rock's going to have to go. Is it just going to not let me break it, or will it destroy the rock if I do this? Aww. Right, we're going to have to go up and get it soon. There you go. This way it's not making it into corners. At least it's like breaking it away with every swing. Oh, Ori's here! Hello, Ori! Not Ori the cat, but Ori the uh, <laughs> the person. Morning! Uh, I was watching your Animal Crossing stream the other day, and if you open the Nook Miles app, you can tap down on the right and toggle between any available miles, so you don't have to scroll to look for them. Oh, really? Wait, let me let me work this out. So what do I do? Toggle a thing on the top right. Uh, oh, you can tap tap down on the right toggle. Oh, what, like the right D pad. What you, I don't understand. So that's how I get to this. Tap down on the right toggle and it will jump between any available miles. Oh, what? Like on... Oh, on this. Oh, it won't work because I don't have any miles. Ah, uh, so oh, if I tap down with the right stick, it will skip between them. Okay. Oh, that's how I hand for. I'm always like just searching through that. Good tip. Thank you, Ori. Right, let's do a... Let's just do two more rows for for now. Because we're, we're... We're starting to... To get close to, like, the, the higher mountain. And that's going to take so long to destroy all of this. And I know you're probably falling asleep. There's 1,700 people here. All falling asleep at me uh, breaking away the rock. Hey, at least the sound is satisfying. Oh, what, because of that? What, because of that tree? Tree's not even close. Right, let's uh, let's get pick up the tree and let's get rid of the, the rock now as well. So eventually we'll build this wider. But we can at least kind of mark where we're going to have the middle point and the clock and stuff. And kind of work out where, like, the rest of the mountain's going to be. I have, so, I have so many peach trees in my pocket. It's unbelievable. So if you if you break away the rocks, a uh, another one just shows up, like, the next day, I think, anyway. So if you have, like, rocks that are in annoying positions, like, feel free just to break them away just to get, a, get yourself a new one. 
Boring but satisfying, says Wolflord. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the way I want my, uh, my streams to be remembered. Stampy's livestream. Boring, yet satisfying. There's been like a, um... A big influx of people saying about, like, how soothing my voice is. And I'm really conscious of the way I'm speaking now. But I think I have, like, the least... <laughs> the least soothing voice in the world. I wonder if that's just, is that just like a nostalgia thing or something? I don't know. Like I can I can imagine someone with a less soothing voice than me. It's promising though, because at the moment I'm trying to train myself to to read audiobooks for for doing the audiobooks of my books. So I've been like practicing reading my books and just reading like what you've written is really helpful anyway. Just for like finding mistakes and like seeing whether it flows and stuff. But yeah, I've been practicing doing like proper reading and like doing character voices and stuff. And it's not easy. It's really not easy. Right, this, this will be the, the last row we break away for now, I promise. I'm late, what's happening? Right, let me show you the picture again. We're building this. Okay, let's carry on. Maybe I should leave that, leave a, a screenshot of that. Maybe I should like, is this long? Oh, I wish I could like dangle this around my head. I wonder if there's a way to like, I guess I could just leave it here like this. There we go. Now everyone will always be able to see what I'm building and they won't be confused at all. Maybe if I just do like a big arrow to it so they know exactly what it is. There we go. Now everyone's gonna, everyone who joins the stream is gonna fully understand what's going on. Thank you to, uh, to Wally Club for the, uh, the donation. As well as, uh, Caleb Salty. Right. Okay, so this is gonna be the orchard here. God, I do need to break away loads more. But as I said, I won't do it for, for now. God, I can't be You really don't realize how curved the world is. Look, look, until you see this big open area, like, look how much, like, when I'm going this way, how much, like, it all curves down. You can just never, like, see anything that's way in the in the distance. But let's work out, like, for the, uh, the rows of these trees, for where they they need to be. So I think I'm going to do, like, uh, an actual barrier here, like an actual fence going down the, the side. I guess I should do that now. I should... Should do that first, and then we work out how, the, how many rows we need for the trees to fit them in and the, the path. And then once we kind of have that worked out, then we find the uh, the best place for the, the mountain. So it all fits in nice. Right. You're going to tell me about decision now that we're going to choose which... Which types of fences do we want around the outside? I was thinking for the top of the mountain... And oh, Didn't mean to dig that. Uh, for the top of the mountain, I'm going to use like the rope fences so you can still see things well. Uh, Lily says, how long left? I really need to pee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe go pee and then come back because I do not want to be uh, <laughs> responsible for an accident. Uh, yeah, what type of fence is around the outside? Or oh, what about these? I think, I think country fence. These are too much like gardens. That's too much like I'm trying to keep someone out. I was actually, um, Squish was talking about like, uh, like turnip storage. Like one of the problems with, um, with turnips is you can't like, st like store them in your storage. So a lot of people are making like fenced off areas where they they almost make like a turnip farm. So I could surround that with these. What do you think though? What do you think with the country fence? I think I might just go with it to be honest. I'm pretty like, I'm pretty set on it. And I think even if people say to do something else, I'm gonna disagree. So let's do, let's do country fence. What do we need? Hardwood. So this is why, I store so much stuff because now we need to make loads of those fences. But look how much hardwood I have! Hardwood for days! The thing is my pockets are going to get filled up because the, my pockets are full of peach trees at the moment. <laughs> and I can't put the peach trees in storage anywhere. 
Um, to be fair, I've got so many of them. I might just sell a bunch of them, to be fair. Nobody gets to stance turnips. Because that's the thing, you can just place them on the floor. But if anyone joins your world, they can just pick them up. And it's not that I don't trust people that join my world, but... I don't want to... I don't want to create a turnip bandit, but if I surround it in fences, then only I'll be only uh, able to pick up the fences. So yeah, maybe uh, maybe if I stream on Sunday, we can uh, we can build like a, a turnip farm together. Hello to uh, IDK Bacon. I just joined the stream. What's going on? Oh, I'm not gonna have to explain it again, am I? There we go. That's what we're building. <laughs> Right, that should hopefully be enough for now. How many have I made? I made like 60? That's going to be enough for now, right? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Wait, so raids are a thing in Animal Crossing? So people, what you can do, you can open your gate. And so I could just set it so that like any of my friends can just join. And like everyone who's on my friends list I trust anyway, but I think it would just look better having it fenced off. Oh, hello little bug. Mm, nah. No. <laughs> and that's why you shouldn't spin around in a circle before trying to catch your bugs. So I just need to make sure we have enough room for these trees to actually uh to actually grow. And then I've also bought a um not bought but I've got like oh no, is this gonna let me place the fences here? Okay, it is. I was really scared that was going to be, like, blocked at this edge here. Hmm. And then, where where's, like, the thinnest area here? So I want this to go straight. It's kind of in line with here, isn't it? So I want these fences around the side here as well. Like, eventually, because there's going to be a path going up the middle. Like, I could have the path link up to the, the side as well. To, like, give access to the beach. Because it's kind of annoying, because like, the more we build in our Animal Crossing worlds, like, the more annoying it is just to get around the world, because we've got all these obstacles and stuff in the way. <laughs> the thing is here, it's not going to line up right, because I can't go any further this way. Do you think I should just build it like one row in here? Unless I can do like... What does it look like if I kind of do like a little corner bit here? And do like that. Let's see if this looks okay. Yeah, that looks fine, doesn't it? That corner looks fine. Read the chat, Stampy, says Max Channel. I did. So it's one of the weirdest comments. Because you get it all the time where people saying like, like when you're focusing on playing something and they say like read the chat and it's like, well if you think I'm not reading the chat, I'm not gonna see your message anyway, right? <laughs> I shouldn't I shouldn't start catching bugs. I haven't got enough room. Yes, I'm not sure about that. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna move it all in one. So it will also give me a little bit more space on that side in case I wanna build anything there. I kinda wanted to just do I kinda prefer it just being a straight corner. Sorry, I'm gonna have to do it again. Like, there's no- <laughs> I know it's annoying, but like, this is gonna be like a pretty permanent fixture in my world. So I'd rather just get it exactly the way I want it. Oh, hello Raider! Raider said thank you for the book. So Raider's trying to build a bunch of, uh, of bookcases at the moment. Uh, but there's a limit to the amount that you can, uh, you can order. And so, uh... Every day, Squashy and I just send her books. <laughs> so I'm building, I'm building my, uh, I built my study today. Like I, I got a new room, so I was building like my study and my little writing area. And my villagers bought me, uh, like, like a row of books, like bookended, and a writing desk today. Randomly. Like this is the day I was building my study, and then they just randomly got me both of those things. I was so excited by it. It was perfect. But yeah, if you need uh, versions of either of them, I mean, you've probably got them because you were everything, but if you need need versions of either of them, let me know and I can, uh, <laughs> I can give them to you. Oh, 
See, you know, you know what? Now I'm building this here. This gap here is kind of annoying me. But actually, what it would allow me to do is like, say if I have an opening like this. Let me, uh, you're not, let me mod you, Raider. Oh, okay. She, she already has them. <laughs> Ra Raider's played this game uh, a lot. <laughs> yeah, this would allow me to do like an opening where I kind of put the fences going out like that. To be fair, I could have kind of done that anyway. Oh, man, you know what? I'm even not even sure about this bit. I don't know if it looks weird with this big gap of grass here. I'm going to change it back. <laughs> I'm going to change I'm going to change it back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's like like neither I'm not completely happy with either of them and it's which one am I like not happy with like the least? I'm going to cuz I know once I start putting the trees in and they're not going to line up right. I'm not going to be happy with it. I'm going to change it back to the way it was. But this is going to be the last time I do it. Squishy saying, wow, Stampy. Hey, I remember when you when you did your stream and you were decorating your house and how, how many times you changed your mind as well. You understand the torment of not being 100%. I'm going to go back to the way it was. One thousand and seven hundred people watch Stampy place, destroy, and then replace the same fence repeatedly. God, everyone is really desperate for entertainment during the uh, during the lockdown, aren't they? This is this is what everyone's choosing to watch. Yeah, she spent like two hours decorating the room. I was quick. To be fair, I was quick decorating my room. I was speedy with that. Uh, I will go back and uh, and show the uh, the rooms that I decorated because I know that a lot of people. Joining in now wouldn't have been in the other uh, stream earlier. This is like quite like a major change. Like this is the biggest like layout change that I've made to, to my island. I just really didn't want like because so many people just have the back of their island is just all high ground mountains. Just because that's what all the islands are by default. I just wanted to try and do something a little bit different. Just to try and change it up a little bit. Right, there we go. I'm not chatting. Like, I'm done. Even if I do personally change my mind again and want to change it, I won't change it. So what I want to know, and I guess I can test it with these um, with these trees here, is like, will the trees grow like right next to the fence? So if I try and grow this here. So if I plot, if I can, oh, that's a nursery. Rhyme. So I think it's the ones that are grown a little bit. It will let me know whether they can keep growing. Okay, so it could grow there on that level. So then if I did one like right in this corner next to the fence, could one grow there? It could. Okay, so that's that's good to, to know. So this can kind of start like li lining up for like where these trees will, will go. And then I guess I'll have the mountainy area here. So let me work out how many rows for the different types of trees. So we've got like peach. And then, oh, actually this one needs to be a little bit closer. I don't want that big of a gap between them. Sorry, this thing's going to take up so much space. Ooh, that corner is annoying, says a Vantor. Don't you start. Don't you start. The corner's lovely. It's perfect. And it will never be changed. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I'm going to do kind of the same layout that I did with the trees uh, up there. So it's just going to be like like a tree, a gap, and then a tree. I know that all of the trees can grow like this. They kind of have like space like the whole way around them. So I guess I can kind of like get all the, the holes ready for, for where they're going to grow. Like this is going to be a big downgrade in terms of the amount of trees in the orchard. But it will look so much better. And like eventually like I'm not gonna need that much money. Like the main reason I have like the big orchard is just to sell the, the fruit to make all of the, the money. And soon that's just like not gonna matter that much. Okay, so let's work out. So we have like peach. So is this this five different type of fruit, right? 
Yeah, so peach, orange, cherry, apple, pear. So they're, they're the five different types. Yeah? Am I, am I missing any? Oh, you're doing an orchard, says Raider. Oh, okay, let me show Raider the picture. I drew this earlier to explain what I'm doing. And everyone keeps joining in and asking what I'm doing. So this is what I'm doing. Okay, let me actually, let me actually, so I keep doing this as a joke, just showing the picture, which is like <laughs> an absolute mess. So that's the orchard here. Yeah, this is the beach. Here's going to be the orchard on the low ground. Then these are going to be raised up. So there's like a path up here and then up here. Then there's going to be a hangout bit there. And that's kind of what I'm building. I tried to draw it to explain it. And I realized drawing it made it like way, way more confusing. <laughs> They're just trying to explain it. This orchard, it just seems so small. I wonder if I could do like bamboo at the back of the orchard. Let me go get, let me see if I got any bamboo that's half grown. And let me see if it'll allow me to, to place it there. Tell you what, let me, I'll do a quick stop on my house on the way. Just for everyone new. Just so you can see how my house has been, uh, has been decorated so far. Like, I, I'm still waiting for, like, a load of new things. So the, the rooms that changed is... So this room was my bedroom and now is, like, a, a study. Oh, I like this music. This is my little study bit down here. The the flooring's gonna change. It kind of clashes a little bit with the, the wall. And this rug might change as well. I mean, a lot of it might change. But this is kind of... This is kind of my new little room. And then I added, like, a, a giant dining table. With, like, loads of food already on it. Uh, into the, the kitchen. And I love it. I need to get some more stools around the outside. I kind of want a bigger kitchen. But yeah, so this is my, my kitchen now. My little rattan stool. It's so it's so quiet when you go into one of the rooms that doesn't have music playing, because everywhere else in the game there's like always music playing. Like if you've got music playing in the house, but also just going around the island. So when you go into a room where there's no music, it's just like so quiet. Yeah, this is my bedroom. I need more stuff. It's like super open at the the moment. But I'm getting there, I'm getting there with my house. Like, the, the main thing holding me back is just not having the furniture that I want yet. So, that's all stuff that's just going to keep on happening. Right, so what I need to do to work out where you can uh, grow bamboo, you need, like, some, like, partially grown bamboo. And then you place it and it will tell you whether it can grow there. Actually, I guess if you if you did it with fully grown bamboo, I guess that would work as well, right? I guess, like, I, I'd have to eat fruit first, but... Yeah, because I don't know if I've got any any uh, half-grown bamboo anywhere. No, it seems to be all fully grown. So, look, if I pick up you... If I try to, like, plant you right on this edge here, is it going to tell me off? I want it to tell me off because then I'll know where it would be. Okay, there we go. So that says I can't plant it there. Let's see if it will let me plant it right at the back next to the, the fence. I think the bamboo on the, the back row would look really good. Uh, what console are you playing on? Uh, I'm playing on Switch. Uh, the game's only on Switch. So <laughs> that's what I'm playing on. I have no, no choice in the matter. No! Oh, it's saying because I don't have a shovel. Okay. Ah, okay, it does let me do it there. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do bamboo along the uh, along the back row then. So then we go bamboo, peaches, oranges. I mean, th these order don't really matter that much, but it means I I need to add one more row here. I think I really over <laughs> overestimated with my with my fence how big this orchard's gonna be. But it's gonna be much more like wide rather than far back. I know it's looking super small right now. That's because I need to, to to get rid of a whole bunch more of these mountains. And I've already done a load of breaking away mountains in this stream. Uh, coconuts? Oh yeah, well coconuts. Coconuts can only be grown on the beach though, right? Or can they be grown here? You can grow coconuts not on the beach? Do they grow? Do coconuts grow not on the beach? I 
Because that would be cool. It would be cool to get another row. I want more fruit, to be honest. I was, oh, oh no, everyone don't me mention the, the missing row. Am I missing a row? <laughs> like, this is all, this is all just for me working it out. What row am I missing? Oh, oh, here? No? This is right, isn't it? Oh, here is, is this missing? It just looks like, yeah, I think there's a, a gap there. Anyway, let's see if I can do the, uh, plant the coconut. Oh no, that's the nursery one. Oh no, I I think I think they have to be on the beach. Uh oh, I can place a patch of sand. Oh, so if I put if I put sand on the ground here. Let's do like a, a full little area of sand in case it needs to be like three by three. Because if that's the case, maybe we could do coconuts at the back and then... Um, and then the, the bamboo. Oh, I did not know that! I didn't know you could do them anywhere! That is cool! Oh, I can't, I can't pick it up again now though. Alright, you have to... <laughs> really getting through these coconuts. Hmm. I really like I, I really like the bamboo bean at the back. I just wonder how weird it's gonna look with like one one like strip of sand going down the middle. <laughs> I think it'll look okay. It'd be cool to get like I think that the more rows of these trees the better it's gonna look. And like I'm getting where I'm thinking more about like form rather than function. Like I want it to look good as well as be my place to get my fruit. No, I, I think I think I think it just has to be at the back, just because I think a like uh, having a strip of sand right at the back won't look too weird. But I think having like a strip of sand in the middle is just gonna look so weird. And like the other thing, I could do just like like a single patch of sand, like under each one. Like, let's see, let's see how that looks. Oh, actually, if I do just sand and then dig a hole... Oh, you can't even see the sand. Does that, does that work? It does! And then you can barely... Okay, perfect, perfect, right. We go back to having the bamboo at the back then. Oh, but now it's on sand. Ah, we'll, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> right, you can go for now, peach tree. That sounds like a, that sounds like a nickname, doesn't it? Hello, my little peach tree. <laughs> uh, how is Ruby in brackets demon bunny doing? Uh, I was actually, I, I was, I was, so with Ruby, Ruben's the demon bunny. And they, they weren't very well. I checked in on them this morning because I hadn't seen them for ages and they were really ill. And I kind of felt a bit bad. So I went I went and made them some medicine. And I gave them some medicine. And then, then they were all happy. And then so they gave me as a present. The exact same shirt. That I was already wearing. Which was seemed super weird to me. <laughs> like I was wearing. I was wearing my dress shirt. Which is like. It's just in my outfit. Which is like. If I don't have anything on. It's just that. And they gave me the exact same thing I was wearing. Like, that's quite an evil thing to do. Like, imagine, like, giving someone a present of, like, what they already, like, are wearing. It's like saying, like, hi, I got you a blue t-shirt. And it's, like, the exact same one. Like, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Like, I found that weird. I think that's quite weird. Right, let's, uh, let's put down some of these peach trees. Oh, no, not there. Just to kind of mark, mark where they'll be. Let's put down, like, one of the... Yeah, let's put down one of these ones. This will do. Okay, so we have like seven rows now. 
So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, th this one, this this one I did wrong. <laughs> lucky, uh, lucky you guys spotted it pretty quick. So peaches and then, yeah, oranges, cherries, pears, or whatever in that order. Okay, it goes pretty it goes pretty far back now. I'm really hoping they end up adding more fruit into the, the game. I want to make sure I do have, like, enough room to be able to, to expand it. I, I kind of need to get rid of this mountain a bit more, though, by the way, though. It's, it's kind of a little bit in the way again. The problem is, like, like I'm going to need to pick up those trees. And my inventory is so full, which, I'm, you know, I'm just going to go sell a bunch of these trees. Just because I can't be- because I can't put them in storage anywhere. And it's like, it's going to be so easy just to plant more peach trees, it's going to be fine. I'm just going to go and, uh... I'm just going to go and sell a bunch of these. Uh, Bluey says, will you ever do a stream for different time zones? Um, like I do try and, all, like, vary a little bit. I just don't like streaming too late. I just I hate, like, streaming and then being like, right now I just got to go to bed. Like, I like to have, like, an evening afterwards. So every now and then I do stream, like, a little bit later. Or, like, a little bit earlier. So, like, it, it's something I consider. But, yeah, I just don't like streaming, like, too late. Like, like, stre like streaming at, like, 8pm my time would be, like, really great for, like, having more people watching. You know, more people available to see. But I just don't like doing it that much. Rocket Willing says, with this orchard, you are on the fence. <laughs> that was when I kept switching my plan for, like, where the fence was going to be. I'm, you know what? I'm blown away that we can grow coconut trees in other places. There's, like, my, my whole area where I have, like, the swimming pool and stuff. I'm lately going to grow a palm tree inside of that area now. Just put down one little patch of sand. TYN says, answer this carefully. Floor gang or ceiling gang? Oh, is that like a thing in terms of like when something considered a flooring or floor or the ceiling? What's what's the full way away? I'm not I'm not gonna say an answer without fully understanding the question. What's the whole floor gang ceiling gang thing? I think Squashy asked me about it a while ago. What what's the uh, what's the full question? Someone said wall gang. Am I going to like make a lot of people angry with my decision no matter what I say? Oh, it's a PewDiePie thing? Wasn't it a thing like... I, th there was a question that Squishy asked about like for wh what something considered the floor or ceiling. Okay, I think I might make a uh, I'll make a pass on answering this question because I don't <laughs> because I don't understand the consequences. Uh, Chicken Nugget says I need to go because there's tea waiting for me. If I wait any longer, it's going to get cold. Peace out. See you later. I'm glad you're you got your priorities in order. So I won't dig away the whole thing now, just because it does take quite a long time to do this digging. <laughs> but I want to get it to the point where I can say this is where the middle is going to be, because then I can like add in the, the rest of like the path and the decorations there. Can I... Can I dig this? Have I had enough fruit? Nope. Okay. I guess that will be our, our boundary for now. I, can I build up any higher? Ooh! I didn't know I could build up higher. I thought this was the top layer. Oh, this is cool. We're going to build the uh, the mountain even higher then. Oh, awesome. Uh, have you got the, uh, the Able Sisters yet? I do. Are you assuming I don't because of my in-game fashion sense? <laughs> 
Have you got the uh, the coffee shop yet, by the way, Raider? I know you were really, uh, really after it. I haven't even seen whether it's actually in this game. Like, I assumed it is, but I haven't actually seen anyone talking about it. No, stop making corners. Uh, oh, you can't go on the fourth level. Oh, really? Oh, that's a shame. Okay. I guess three levels will do, though. So annoying that, like, it makes these corners every time. Like, this. Look, here, there's four buttons, yeah? Why can't one button be to break it away, one is to place it, and then one is to do corners? Why why do they have to make everything on the same button? Are they trying to make it easier? Because it only makes it harder. I didn't want to make a corner then. I had no choice. We're getting back to, to Grumpy Stampy again now. <laughs> the only person who gets angry at Animal Crossing. Everyone else is so peaceful with it. Uh, the coffee's apparently going to be in the museum. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. It'd be cool to build like a whole like little community area around it. Let's get these last trees in case it tells me off on digging too close to them. Uh, have you gone tarantula hunting? No, I've not done any of that stuff. I've not really done any of like the... Uh... Kind of like the, the tricks to get more bells. Alright, let's go back to what I was doing earlier and let's like kind of dig. If I dig a strip through it with like one gap, I think then I can just break away the last one and it won't make it into corners. Thank you to a... Uh... To, to Andrew Wixon, who says, Hi Stambi, I've been watching you for six years, and I wanted to thank you for all you do. You have brought me so much joy over the years. Oh, thank you so much! You know what? I don't want to jinx it, but it kind of seems like the, uh, I don't know if I should even say this, but like, the bot problem seems to be, like, is the bot problem fixed now? Like, it's been a while. Like, I think we've had, like, a few, like, passing through. But compared to what it was like, I think we might, I think we might be clear. <laughs> Don't say it, maybe, Luna says. <laughs> if, if I was more superstitious, I wouldn't have said, I wouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> It seems like whatever like exploit they were they were doing has been fixed. So I think there's always gonna be like people messing it up, but it seems like the way they were doing it before they can't do it by the looks of it. Now they all come flooding in, hopefully not. Lily says, hello, I am bot. <laughs> what was the, the bot problem? The bot problem like stopped me streaming altogether. Basically just like yeah, the stream was completely overrun with bots. The point where I just had to turn the chat off. And like having the chat off like really just ruined the streams. Yeah, digging in these lines is making it way, way, way easier. I know this is going to be the thing where I get really confused for ages. Because like all of these mountains have obviously just been like this since I got the world. And like it's going to be one of the things where every time I go to like these areas, it's just going to really... uh. Like, throw me off for, like, how different it all looks. Minecraft vibes with this digging. I know! Like, this is the stuff that it does kind of feel back like when I'm working out dimensions and stuff. The 
Why oh, did you take her out? Yeah. This wouldn't go. Yeah. Alex hates the rain. She hated it. She was so skittish. Yeah. So we, we, we always try to not take her out when it's raining. She just wants to go back home. But like, obviously she needs to, she needs to go out anyway. She evacuated her bowels quite profusely. Oh, lovely. I got a, I got this if you want to draw a picture. <laughs> she's all happy now. I knew she'd get zoomies. How are you getting on? Dig it away, dig it away. So did you know that you can plant palm trees not on the beach? <gasps> yeah. Why did everyone know this and no one told me? It's an obvious thing. That's not an obvious thing. Yeah, it is. That's not obvious. Yeah, it is. It's not obvious. It's a tree. That's no, but it's a pot. No, you just have to put it on a bit of sand. I didn't know that. Oh, Alex is there now. Where is she? I had oh. to wipe her paws down. She's a bit mucky. Well, I'm in the way. Hello. Oh, what's this? It's Christmas pudding. Oh, oh, look at this. This toy's not going to last much longer. Look. Say that. Yeah, I, mean, I think this is from two Christmases ago, to be yeah. fair. <laughs> uh, I have a cup of tea. I have a cup of tea. I don't mean for this to go on for too long, but like, I'm too invested. I can't stop now, because I've just been preparing the area. I can't stop now. <laughs> I, gotta, I can't do that to them. Look, look at this, look at this. Oh, what? Uh, I don't care. Oh, what do you want to show me now? <laughs> Loads of holes? <laughs> <laughs> Why have you done that? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be when you orchard? So it's gonna be like the different types of trees along here, and then there's gonna be a path down the the middle here, and then around here somewhere there's gonna be like a mountain with like a good view over it all. Just like the diagram said. Just like, yeah, just just like the picture. <laughs> that was a proper stampy laugh then, wasn't Wait, it? I that think... was a proper stampy laugh. That was a <laughs> proper one, wasn't it? Golden. Sometimes they slip, sometimes they merge. Sometimes they slip! Sometimes they merge with other laughs. It's not like I'm trying, to, like I'm sitting here no, trying to do it. But like... you know what? Sometimes they go a bit off key or out of tune, but like. The, the other ones, like the stampy laughs, are the ones that are like perfectly like, ha, 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 like that, you know? Well, well, oh, when they, they repeat exactly. Yeah. Not like, ha, ha, hoo, ha, like that. They're yeah, just, that's yeah. a monkey impression. <laughs> that's a monkey yeah. laugh. That's more monkey than stampy. Let me do the chat. Oh, Rihanna, you can do the chat. I'll read the chat, seeing as stampy never does. <laughs> Go on then. What are they say? Um, who is Stampy playing with? Your wife is a true fan. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> Hi. Oh no, no, no! The chat's going really fast. Yeah, no. saying hi. <laughs> now they, now they know they're getting oh some attention. Wait, <laughs> hi Tom Nook. Tom Nook's watching. Hi Tom Nook. Welcome to the stream. Hi, hi Iron Walker. Hi the odd something. I can't read the name. Can everyone just have short <laughs> names that are easy to read? Hi Harry, yeah, there you go. Hi <laughs> Phoenix, no, that's a bit long. But Sugar that's fine. pie, that's easy enough. Sugar pie, yeah. Sugar pie. That's what I do. I realize, I realize I'm always shouting out the same people all the time because they're the ones of the easy names. And when the stream, because when you start shouting out, the stream just goes crazy yeah. like that. Hi, 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 hi. If I just say a big hi, then it's all, it's for it's for you in particular, and you know who you are. Hi. There you go. You're welcome. Basically to everyone. Hi, Pizza Gang. Hi, Mr. Woofer. Hi, Brett. Hi, Dragon Bro. Nice name. Hi, Lily. Hi, Dog Paw. Hi, Ryder. Hi, Scott. Sorry, were you gonna do some like really good cutting edge commentary while I'm doing this or not? I was just gonna make gurgling noises. Oh, that's fine. Hi, Kylie. Oh, that person needs to be banned, but okay. Hi, Crash. 
Hi, Cat's Place. Hi, Alex. It's funny because they can't see you, so they just hear like... You can see my leg. My leg's here, look. What, <laughs> you, what you need to do, so when, when you're about to, to say something, just like, do a, do a hand signal and then I'll move my mouth. No, I'll just do that. Hi, it's Josh. <laughs> Hi, Abby. <laughs> Hi, Angela. Hi, Angel. Hi, Steve. Can you do that, but every time you come in, Hi, you're wearing... Hi, Every time you come in, can you be wearing a different hat? <laughs> Silly Hat Fridays. <laughs> Hi, Cardboard Boy. Hi, Sean the Sheep. Hi, Connor. <laughs> Hi, Fiona. <laughs> Hi, Cap. Hello, Sarah. I feel sick. I shouldn't do that more. <laughs> Hi, Stampy. Wait, you just look at the chat in case you said something. Huh? You like looked at the chat <laughs> when I said hi Stampy. Oh, what did I say? I've been talking to you. What did I say? There's a lot of people watching right now. Hi people watching. <laughs> Hello all the people watching. Geordie said Squishy won't see this. Squishy did see this. I'm pretty sure people just say that just to Are make you, you respond. My boyfriend and girlfriend, Pikachu says. Pikachu, that's a bit forward. <laughs> Pikachu. It's Pika, none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend. Ew, 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 <laughs> ew. He's my husband. <laughs> Hi, Sean. Hi, Enzo. All <laughs> oh, the chance people saying hello. We got a letter. Oh, we got a letter. Got a letter. Can I? Be, are we like um, Timmy and Tommy? Oh, Ray, Ray just sent me something. Something. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it's gonna be. Me. I want it all oh, for for my study. Daddy. Oh, my hands are too full. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have for breakfast this mu morning? <laughs> I was going to say muesli. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast? <laughs> what did you have for breakfast? <laughs> muesli. <laughs> we had muesli, didn't we? That's like such an, an old person food. Well, we wouldn't normally. We just haven't. <laughs> we, we, haven't we haven't been able to go to the we shop. We had muesli. Let's have a, a date. A date? Mom. <laughs> you just, you just want to say stuff. You just want to tilt your head to it just to say stuff. <laughs> my hair's so long right now. I need a haircut. Stumpy said he's going to cut my hair for me. Do you want to do it now on stream? No. He's going to cut the back because it's getting quite mullety. I told her I haven't got good patience though, so it's gonna be done quickly. I just need, literally, I need, I need just like. Can I do it one-handed while like playing? That. Yeah, like, just, just go. I just do that. That's all I need. Well, you could do that. It's just that. No. Sammy's gonna cut my hair for me. What's muesli? Rabbit food, basically. Oh god, don't let him. <laughs> Pineapple What's penguin. What's the present? Oh, a cork board. Ah. Like I put, I put the uh, the blackboard in my office just for like, so it's kind of like my actual office. That looks so good. I like oh. the oh. Should I do it above my? Can you customize it to have something on it? But you can. Should I do it above my desk or over here? Over there. No, I'm, no. I do it there. So then the idea is there's like a bit of a. A gap so I could fit in to put stuff on. Oh, it's quite high up. Eh, eh. Oh, did you see this thing I got from my kitchen? Go on then. It's Pika Pika Choo Choo, not Pikachu. Sorry! I'm sorry. My bad. Wait, you're gonna show me what you got? Yeah, I got distracted by Pimple. <laughs> I got the Pimple Machine. 
You should grow out your hair. I don't really have a choice. Look at, it, look at this table. <gasps> that looks so yummy. I know, look. It's got like ramen and dumplings. Sushi. Why, there's only one chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only going breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Ah, lunch for one. <laughs> and you've got toast and you've got food cooking in the hob. I'm hungry. Yeah, hungry. I only eat the cat food in the corner. <laughs> Shave Stampy's hair for charity. No. No, his hair's lovely. I'm not touching it. No, his hair's gross. I'm not touching it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love your hair. Oh, what was I doing? I've lost track of what I was doing. Oh, yeah. I went to get the clock. I like those flowers. Purple ones. <laughs> right. So, the clock was going to be back here. I kind of went, like, in the middle. Wait, so, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Wasn't there meant to be seven? So there's meant to be seven rows, right? We need an extra row. Look at the graph. Look at the graph you made. <laughs> I know. The graph wasn't in that deep. Wait, right, so we've got bamboo, coconuts, peaches, apples, pears, cherries, and oranges. Yes, so seven rows it's meant to be. Oh, let me do that. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we need one more row. If I just stare at you, does it put you off? Yes. But no, but no, no one else can see you. <laughs> you should just do it for like with a giant grin on your face. <laughs> oh, that's very off-putting. I don't know why I, I suggested a way to make it worse. Stop it. It's so off-putting. You're pretty. <laughs> So there, is there a middle to seven? Oh yes, yeah, so like if I have the middle, then three on each side. What is happening? So if this clock goes, so this is the middle, <laughs> and we got. Wait, no. So. We got one, two, three. So yeah. So there's the middle, and then one, two, three. So then I might go like, just make the path a little bit wider here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to dig away a bit more of this cliff, I'm afraid, everyone. Sorry, just a, just a little bit, L just a little. So everything I've done, I'm gonna have to do again on the other side. And it means the top bit. But I'll do that outside of stream, don't worry, because that's gonna take me like a day. <laughs> the thing is though, is like, like I find it quite fun doing it. Like the only reason I'm like conscious is because like I'm doing it in the stream. I'm like, oh, I don't want it to get boring. But. Like when I'm actually just doing it, when you it's kind of nice just to have a big project and you know exactly what you're doing and you're just working on it. So I actually won't mind doing it. I just don't want all of you to fall asleep. I think everyone's just chilling. You don't have to worry about it. Well, it's like I'm, I could have like destroy all of this mountain. Yeah, you can just talk to chat when you do it. Yeah. Oh, ow, Alex! I had my foot resting on your chair and she stood on my foot. <laughs> To try and get to you to give you this. <laughs> Let the digging commence. <laughs> Test how high she can jump. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Well, no, because if you um, don't do it like this, then you keep making corners every oh, time. I know. I know. I'm saying that like you built one back so again. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realise. If I could watch Squishy decorate our house for two hours, I can handle anything. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fine. Like, and literally, like, you're just digging away a mountain. It's pretty, like, decisive work. They had to deal with me being like, uh, does this flower look better when it's rotated 90 degrees? <laughs> or no? I don't know. Can you tell me in the chat? I'm literally like the worst. <laughs> just roasted myself. The thing is with this stuff, is like, I know it's going to be pretty permanent, so I kind of want to... Like, I want to get it right now and then not need to change it again. Is the plan. Oh yeah, I bought the kettle. Oh, I'd love a tea right now. I've been talking for so long. I'd love a tea. I'd love a tea. I'd love it. You'd levitate. I'd levitate. You'd levitate. I'd levitate. I can levitate. Can you? you want to see me levitate? Go on then. You, you look at the camera. No. 
Display. I levitated. I told you I can levitate. Oh, I'd levitate. Oh, I'd levitate. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye, demon. <laughs> <laughs> People are saying sock reveal. <laughs> you just all wanted to trick me into doing a sock reveal. <laughs> Why does she keep locking Alex in it? We got a cheeky sock reveal. <laughs> I remember doing that trick in uh in like primary school, which is like, like kind of like the first school you go to in England, and like no one knew how I did it, and it would like trick everyone. <laughs> oh, have we even so? Oh my god, I'm actually even wearing. I'm wearing odd socks as well. I'm actually wearing odd socks. They got, oh, they're actually quite fun ones, though. They got, like, monsters on them. But yeah, I'm wearing, literally... You can see why I stopped doing my sock reveals when I wear odd socks. Teach me your ways. I could have really done it better. It works better with, uh, with shoes on. <laughs> I don't know how well I could do it on with, uh, with slippers on, which is what I have on now. It's why I always like wear like my main, my boring outfit, which is like my real life outfit. I always wear like slippers in because I'm just always wearing <laughs> slippers. <laughs> right, all I wanted to do was like... Are you trying to come back in now, Alex? You bark because you want to leave the room. You bark because you want to come back in the room. It's the thing with dogs, they only have, it's like, it's like only having one word. Like, bark is just everything for them. It's like, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm scared, I'm angry, I'm excited. Like, everything is just a bark. <laughs> it's like, they have no, no other options. <laughs> yeah, then I could do this bit like rounded, kind of. Just to make this as like, like a nice little like central area in the orchard. With like a, a clock on and then I could add some like um, some fence posts in and stuff maybe could maybe bring it out a little bit wider could go to here like I don't, like none of this is to make like an efficient orchard <laughs> yeah I think this will look a little bit better I do like that you can make it like curved. That looks good. I think that looks pretty nice with the, the clock there. And because the clock's quite tall as well, like when you're up on top of the, the mountain area, you'll be able to see it well. Oh, it's lagging. Uh oh. Oh, my stream says uh, <laughs> excellent condition. That's what, that's what YouTube says. Uh, try refreshing it and see how it is for you.
Hello? Are we all hello? It's like Alex's little head poke up. Are we back? Is it working okay? I don't know why, why it messed up. I think it just like YouTube got confused. Like, so the internet was working fine. Like, I was watching, like, I tried watching other YouTube videos, like, the internet seemed alright, so I don't know why it was, was messing up. Uh, if you're still having problems, uh, refresh it or change the quality. Uh, it seems, like, it says excellent condition still, so I guess it, uh, it should be okay. So we'll be able to carry on. I just carried on doing a little bit more terraforming while it was, uh, while it was messing up, waiting for it to, to sort itself out. Uh, Nicholas Lear says, uh, please do scrap mechanic survival with Squid. God, I haven't played scrap mechanic in a while. Uh, probably won't uh, do that, but Squid and I are planning to do Minecraft Dungeons uh, when that's fully out. Uh, thank you to, to Wally Club, who says, uh, could Squishy view our world on Xbox, please? Um, you'll have to, to ask her for, for that one, but um, yeah, she doesn't really play on Xbox too much. It's just kind of spaced in. Chicken Nugget says, Stampy's hair is fuzzy and fuzzy things are cool. And they also said a, a riddle to pass the time. What can you hold in your right hand, but not in your left what can you hold in your right hand, but not in your left hand? Is it your left hand? Yeah? Because you can hold your left hand in your right hand, but not your left. Would that work? Does that count as holding your left hand? I don't know. <laughs> I think that might be right. I think I might have got it. If there's like a a better solution to the uh, the riddle, feel free to, to let me know in the chat. All right, I, I don't know when it cut out. So I was really focused on what I was building, and then I looked up, and everyone was going lag, 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 lag. So I don't know uh, the last thing you saw, but basically I just built this little path bit round here, added a, a clock to, to this section here. I could build a little something down here as well, you know, if I had this like leading the the whole way down. So if you imagine like how this is here, it will be this, but also the same on the the other side. That's basically how the, the orchard part of this uh, is going to, to be. So I guess what we can do is we can um, we can start planting some stuff, I guess. Uh, when I get more bamboo, I'll just plant that down there. Um, God, you know, that bit of sand's really annoying me. But I'm going to leave it for now. So this is where the, the coconuts go. I don't have any more coconuts, so just when I grab them, I'm just going to plant them. So then I think this, this was a peach tree right here, I believe. Yep, so let's do, let's do, this is the, uh, the peach row. Actually, you know what I should do? I should do this row as the peach row, because it's, um, actually, let's think in terms of colours. So, I probably don't want cherries and orange next to each other, because it's like red and orange are quite similar. And then, oh, but then, oh, then there's red and apples, so I probably don't want apples too close either. So I, I might do this as, um, the apple row, you know? So I could do like, so coconuts, and then apples. I kind of want cherries at the front. So I could go cherry, pear, orange, uh, peach, apple. I think that's what I'll do. It doesn't really matter, but I, I got to pick a, pick something. So this will do. So yeah, let's get the, uh, the peaches down in a row here. And then what I'm just going to do is because I've still got like so many trees already planted up at the top. I can move some of them over but then when those ones grow I'm just going to completely chop them down. And that's going to kind of allow space for, for new ones to, to grow. So then I said cherries at the, the front. So let's do these, these cherries here. These are ones that I have already. I have way less like cherries and oranges than anything else but I should have enough to, to fill in the orchard. Like, my island started off as peaches, so I care less about peaches because you get, like, less money from them when you when you sell them. <laughs> Hopefully people that were watching the stream then it ended realize it's come back. There's, like, way, way less people here now. I was actually a little bit worried about streaming at all today because, like... Nationwide across the UK, like the there's been like loads of internet drops. Like last night, the internet kept cutting out. So I was a little like I, I was kind of going in with the the mindset that if that starts happening, I'm just gonna like stop streaming. Like 
I don't want to keep like, oh, it's working and now it's not working and now it's working. It just gets like too frustrating for everyone. So I think that, what was, oh, was that a nothing tree? Oh no, that was an apple tree. Okay. It looked like when I picked up, it wasn't anything. I'm not sure if these ones even grow anyway. These ones right at the, the back. So let's go and pick up a bunch of these and we'll do the, uh, the apple trees. It's kind of nice having all these little ones that aren't grown yet anyway. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, I'm building an orchard at the moment. And then I'm going to be building like kind of a giant hill in front of it that overlooks it. The stream cut out. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I made that hummus. <clears throat> it's hot. Oh. I thought it was... So she was like, I made that hummus. And then she put my tea down. I was like, I prefer milk, but thank you, my love. <laughs> I do. Every time I make Gracie a cup of tea, I just go, I made you a lemon juice as I put it down. And then she just goes, okay. Oh, at dinner, did you say? Lunch. Lunch. Okay. I may have a, uh, I may have a break in a little bit to, to have lunch. I'm actually not, not too hungry right now. I'm okay. Oh, it did snacking. I'm not going to eat on stream. I know like loads of people do that. I don't want to eat with like a thousand people <laughs> watching me. Right, I gotta make sure the problem with all of these trees that aren't grown yet is I gotta make sure I do them um do the the right ones in the right place, because obviously I can't I can't tell if I'm doing them wrong. I just need to, to remember my order. If I just put them all down quickly now. So then we've got cherry, so then we just need orange and pear left to go. So let's go, let's go try and track down some orange and pear trees. I think the pear tree section is, I think these are pear trees. These trees down here that aren't grown. Or, or they might be orange trees. Either way, it's what we need. Oh, my shovel broke. I don't even have a spare one on me, do I? Normally I go around with a spare shovel on me. I go get another one. Like I've made loads that I just leave in the, the house. So when one breaks, I can just go and grab more. Don't need to craft them. Uh, why is the stream so laggy? Uh, it just broke a second ago, so hopefully it's not breaking again. Is it laggy for for everyone? It may just be on uh, on your end. I'm also grab this rope because I'm gonna need that soon. Then, oh, shovel. I completely forgot why why I came here. I need to water my plants as well today. Oh, it's not laggy? Okay. So if it's lagging, uh, if you refresh it, maybe turn the quality of the stream down a little bit. Like, I always prefer to watch things in, like, lower quality rather than, like, when it's all, like, jerky. Oh yeah, what fruit did I get? Uh, okay, that was pear. Well, I thought it was. Alright, let's try and get a few more of them. Now, I still remember where my my orange trees are like the ones I only got recently and didn't have that many of. I think I've got some planted, but they might have all grown up. But I do have a bunch of like just oranges that I could use and plant them. It's good, so hopefully, with enough time, by the time we do the next stream, these would have all grown. Fingers crossed. You better see what they're all like. Oh, that was a cherry one. Oh, are, the, are these all cherry ones? I don't even know if these ones could grow because they're like right next to the cliff. Oh, oh, are they peach? I don't know which one. I don't even know which new ones I'm picking up now. I, th I, th I think these are peaches. Yeah, these are just a bunch of peach ones. I think I might just sell these because I've got like so many of them. Maybe down here I have some orange ones. Oh, I got some bamboo. I could I could grab these and start getting these planted.
Yeah, I, th I think like because I've got so many of the peaches, and they're worth so little. I might just sell them just to get rid of them because I've nowhere else to to really put them. And then I go try and get some more orange ones. This is my my inventory is getting rather full right now, and it gets it gets a bit of a pain. Super Lucky says it's their friend uh, Ben's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday for tomorrow, Ben. I don't know if they're watching live. Maybe you can show them a little clip of this. Hope you have a good day, Ben. All right, let's get rid of all of these these peaches once. You get like hardly any money from them, but like it's all right. Yeah, like two thousand for like, that's not even just two for like all those peaches. That was for like peach trees. They're worth like nothing. I might just grab some um, some oranges from my house. Oh yeah, by the way, these trees down here, these are all uh, all money trees. <laughs> I wonder if I should do a row of money trees. Is that like a <laughs> a good like show off move <laughs> to be a baller? Just have a row of money trees that I'm not harvested. But yeah, I kind of want to patch. So what I do with the money trees is um like when uh, I plant them. Like I like so I dig up the money. I plant like the ten thousand bells to make like the the money tree sapling. I then immediately pick up the the tree and plant it somewhere near my house. So this is a money tree that hasn't sprouted yet. And then these trees around here, these are all money trees. So what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to have like a separate patch, like near my home, which is where I just grow all of the money trees. Look at this weird random block that I put down earlier. It might actually not be in a bad place. I kind of need it maybe more like here, possibly. So I think if I was a bit higher up here, I'd have a, a pretty good view of the uh, the orchard. I just can't have the mountains too close because it's going to block the view of the trees. So I'm going to have to find something else to build here. Maybe like the fence or something. Because whatever's going to be here, I'm not going to see. Because if you imagine if the mountain's there, like <laughs> where I am now, you can't really see. Peekaboo. So I kind of need to, to bear that in mind. What was I doing? Oh yeah, planting trees, planting trees. So we got cherries. And then what were we going to do? Oranges. And then pears. Should we do it that way around? Because then what's that? Oh no, then this is peaches. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do I, I like I like the look of the oranges more than the peaches, I think. So these ones you can just see a little bit more. I don't know if this is the uh, the order I order I said earlier, but as long as it's all in line, it'll be okay. Uh, now this is going to be where the pears will be. I know I've got more pear trees planted somewhere. I just need to go and find them all. Oh, I should have grabbed some more of the um, more of the coconuts as well while I was at it. A raider planted them in alphabetical order. <laughs> that's a that's a very you thing to do. <laughs> I'm just doing the, like the ones that I like the look of. Oh wait, oh, oh, that was wrong. Actually, that was that was a orange one I just planted. These needs to be pears, right? Oh, did I do this all wrong? Yes, yeah, so that needs to be pear there. But I need, I need to find some more pear trees. So remember, this is only half of it. This is all going to be the same on the other side here as well. Uh, I can get some of these um, these bamboo planted as well. So just give you a pretty good idea of how it's going to end up being like once they all grow up into full size trees. Uh, when am I going to do the next space den? Kira asked. Uh, normally we do one every Saturday. We haven't missed a Saturday yet, so probably we'll be on Saturday. This stream is beyond compare. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Someone says my mic is muted, and I know you are lying and trying to trick me.
Right then, let's work out this uh, this mountain bit then. Let's uh, let's start building up and just see where where it looks good. So it needs to be at least three by three to build the uh, the next level. And we can also, because I've just finished my last incline, I can start the uh, the next incline being built for for today. This stream is peachy, says Kofo. <laughs> Keep the fruit puns coming, guys. Keep the fruit puns coming. Only Animal Crossing fruit, though, will count. Right, let's uh, let's build up here and see what the uh, what the views like. I'd like to be able to see across all of the trees if I can. But just with the way the world curves, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. It's gonna have these weird like this is like when like people discover like art that's made by ancient civilizations all over the place. Uh, so if I turn the camera up, I can see it all. But from here, oh actually, I can see the um I can see the bamboo at the the back there. I guess I should probably have it a bit closer. Just because I don't really know. I'm not really going to have much else in between. Can you coconut get stung by wasps? <laughs> Orange, you glad you started this stream? I can't pair oranges. They're horrid. Very good, guys. Very, very good. I approve. So I guess this path will go through like, okay, if I kind of do this as like a cliff, then this will be like an opening that you'll be able to like see through. Ah, I can't play. I want to place it there. Let me place it where I want to. There we go. Okay. I love the way I blame the game. Oh, but no, don't place it there. No, not there. <laughs> Why am I so bad? Like, I'm generally pretty good at video games. Why am I bad? Like, who's bad at Animal Crossing? It's not even a game you can normally be bad at. But yeah, this would carry on going through here. So if this cliff went along here... I mean, that would give me room for the fence, I guess. But then... I also want, like, room in front of the trees. So I guess we... I guess a good way to do it is let's just put the, the fence down. It's appealing, but, like, appealing. Sean the Sheep says, like, appealing. That's one that works better, like, reading it than saying it out loud, out loud I think. <laughs> right, so if we... So we have a gap here. Then the fence will be going along here. I'm going to need more fence so I can gather the rest. My hangover from here. Unless I do... Actually, what I could do... Is I could do a path as well. Going along like that. And then leading to there. And then that gives quite a natural gap. So that the cliff doesn't block too much. And then that will also give um, give room to pick up the fruit. And it'll also be like a way to just to get to the beach. I don't want to block off like too much of the the world. Should I just do like one 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 row like that, and then the the fence here, or would that still like look too close? Let's get rid of these mountains for now, so I can just see what I'm doing. I think maybe like two 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 rows of this. I think three might be too much, but two rows of this because one looks kind of too thin. Your orchard is per perfect. The the perfect puns a popular one. 
What about cherry? Is there any good... Any good cherry puns? That I can cherry pick from and read out? I've not seen many cherry ones. Pear and apple seems too easy. And then, yeah, we can do that there, and then the fence will go down here. This looks good. And this is quite just like a natural gap. So that then when we have, like, the, uh, the cliffs built up on the other side here. You are cherry full, as in you're cheerful. Very good. Cherry good. Cherry good pun. I love your videos, cherry much. <laughs> Your trees are cherrific. Your orchard is looking cherryful. <laughs> oh, make sure to cherish, cherryish your orchard. Your videos always cherry me up. Oh, this tea is so good. This tea was so needed. I've been streaming for almost three hours now. The tea, the tea becomes necessary. Yeah, so this path is going to go down here. And then I'll eventually find a way for it to like link up with the, the rest of the paths. Like my, my main paths around my island are all these stones. They're quite good for like crossing over into different areas. Like it's almost a bit like um... Think, you know like how like Disney World has like Tomorrowland and like Frontierland and Fantasyland, like all of like these zones. That's kind of the way like I see my island. So like the, the right is like kind of like a like holiday resort or like vacation resort land which is where like the nice beach and the pool is top right corner is almost like japanese land or like zen land the bottom is like like town like like suburb land i guess maybe that's where everyone lives in that and then the left far left of the island like bottom left is going to be like city land and that's where like there's going to be the bigger buildings and it's going to be more modern and stuff the top left is like fruit land and then the top middle is an open space for another land for, for whatever I want to build there. But yeah, the, these paths kind of fit in with every land. So they're like good like crossover points. Right, this uh, this mountain really doesn't block too much at all, to be honest. Especially now like the, the fences here. Alright, let's start let's start building this up a bit. And remember, like at first it's gonna be quite blocky. But it's not going to be like... I want it to look more natural, so it's not going to be like... Perfect, if that makes sense. It's not going to be like one just giant block like this. I'm so tedious. Is it a cup of tea? I think that's what they're saying. Maybe they're just calling me tedious. I don't know. So I don't want this to be like huge in terms of the area it takes up, but I want it to be like mainly on like the third level. I want it to be like one of the one of the high points of the island, both literally and figuratively. If you don't know what literally and figuratively means, search I wonder, <laughs> literal and figurative. Who remembers that? <laughs> You can't bamboo these videos. Like, bamboo them. That's good. There's not been many bamboo puns either. People have really been cherry picking which... <laughs> which plants to use. Bamboo's got the short end of the stick. There we go. There's there's one for free. There's... There we go. I've, I've contributed to the, uh, the puns now. Bamboozled? You can't just say bamboozled. You've got to put it in a sentence. 
You say like, oh, I tried to think of a bamboo, bamboo, bamboo pun, but I got bamboozled. I literally did get bamboozled trying to say that. All right, this is where it gets a bit finicky in terms of where I can build up and where I can't. Okay, let's build this up here. Then let's go up to the the top and see how good it looks. So of course it's not going to look that great now. So it's just a bunch of saplings. But once all the the trees have grown, I think it'll look a bit better. I wish we could do like an art. It'd be cool if we could have like this path going through and then like the the mountains kind of going over the top. I don't think they'd let you do that. There we go. That's good. That's good. Even without changing the view up, like even here, once those trees have all grown, that's going to look really cool, I think. Right, let's just build this out uh, a little bit bigger. Then we can do it a bit higher on the top. And then we can kind of work out where, where exactly we want the, the inclines to go. Oh yeah, and I'll start thinking about like how this is going to be rounded off so it doesn't look like a giant big blob in the middle of the world either. Your orchard is bamboodiful. I love it. <laughs> That's a good one. I just realized you got a new cat hat. I did! I did get a new cat hat. I would put it on now, but you won't see it because i got to wear the, the hard hat while while doing this. Uh, that was actually Raider got that for me. I need to get rid of uh, this bit as well <laughs> at some point. <laughs> that was my... My test to go. Uh, right, so where's that? I kind of, I, I really want like Chris cross, cro Chris crossing inclines if I can. Let's go get a, uh, an incline kit from uh, from old Nookie Nook, and then um, we can see exactly what the size is, and we can use that to to work them up. So I really want it to be like so you go up and then you go round to get to the top, but then there'll be a separate bit on the lower level as like the middle layer as well, where I can have some stuff there. So obviously the the, uh, the inclines won't get built today. So I need to pay for them, but at least I can like mark out where they are, and it like you can imagine what they'll look like. You can't do inclines diagonally. No, I don't mean diagonally. I don't mean curving round. I mean I'll have one incline like that, and then you'd walk around and then go straight up another one. So the inclines will kind of be like. Do you want to draw a picture? My pictures always make it very clear. <laughs> So that one actually might work quite well because it's going to be the stone bricks leading to it. But then there's the stone staircase as well. None of them would really work. So it's even just this. See, the thing is, is the rest is going to be all of the natural stuff. So I think that would look a bit weird. So I, I think I'm just going to go for the natural one. And it's a little bit cheaper, <laughs> which is not too bad. Draw a picture! Draw it, alright. Let me explain, right. Now, now I've basically built this thing. We don't need this anymore. Let me show you what I am imagining for this mountain. I love that I got that giant whiteboard in the background I'm just doing on this. So, you're, this is me here. Now let me draw me. Right, that's me, there. So I'll have one ramp. That will lead up like this, okay, to, re to re reach this next level here, okay. And then another ramp going like that there to reach the next level. So then this is all like one wall here. And then that's all one wall there. 
And then this is the top layer. And then here's going to be a telescope. That's the telescope. Does that make sense? And then there also there could be like that top layer could also be there as well. But so you would go up and then like say if that was more 3D, you could stand up here and then stand here. Okay, there we go. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's what we're doing. Now you're all in the know. What a perfect drawing. <laughs> this is just the, the bit where I don't want to mess it up. Because <laughs> this is the bit where if I end up making changes, it will be uh, be expensive. <laughs> like at the moment, if I make a mistake, I just break it away with my little shovel. Now, if I if I put the incline in the wrong place, that's going to be not particularly great. Because I can't, you can't just move inclines and bridges. You have to pay to get them demolished and then pay to build like a whole new one as well, isn't it? It's time consuming and gets expensive very, very quickly. And it's going to be a while until my orchard's grown, so it's not like I'm going to have like loads of spare bells going. I'm going to, I'm going to have to get like, get lucky with a big, a big turnip sale one of these days just to, just to get the money up. I would not like to be your partner in Pictionary. So we play um, a lot of, uh, of Jackbox games. And there's a game on it which we really like in the newest pack called Push the Button. And the idea is that there's an alien on the ship and everyone else is humans, or there's a few aliens, and you need to work out who the aliens are. And one of the, the challenges to work out who the aliens is is a drawing thing where it will say, like, to all the humans, it will say, draw uh, the Empire State Building. And then to the alien, it will say something very different. It will just say, maybe just draw a building. And so you just draw a generic building, which isn't the Empire State Building. Then you need to argue to try and justify, like, your drawing. And I always get so scared in that one because I was, I'm always like, no, 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 no. Like, I was trying, I, I was trying to draw the right thing. I'm just very, very bad at drawing. <laughs> so I got it wrong. But sometimes it works in my favour because everyone knows I'm bad at drawing. I can say like. I go like, oh no, no, I was trying to draw that, you know, but I just got it wrong, you know, if I am the alien. <laughs> so it's a really fun game. I uh, really read Jack Jackbox is. No, I'm not. I'm trying to. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, fed up with this sometimes, the way this building is. <laughs> there we go, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> so I might do the first ramp coming like up this way here. Maybe like a little bit further in. Let's get rid of this row. Sorry, yeah. Uh, already there's no... It's kind of difficult to explain what I'm thinking in my head, so I guess I'll just do it. And then you'll, and then you'll see. But I want them to be like side-on ramps. This is why you did a build my life instead of a draw my life. It is! I think I even say in the video, like, oh yeah, I'm really bad at drawing. So I'm gonna build it. And hey, my YouTube channel was popular because of Minecraft. It made sense to do it in Minecraft as well. Oh, is that actually just going to work perfectly? Let me imagine it. Oh, that is exactly what's doing. There we go. Look, 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 look. So, so that ramp there is that first ramp here. And then the other one would be just going up on the, the other side there. I'm just scared there's not an actually I might move I might move it back one one spot just to make sure I have room for the other ramp at the top because I can't go any further that way but I can go further this way but that's exactly how I wanted it Oh, so everyone's like, oh, I get it now. Now I get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't explain it very well last time. All right, let me just imagine it again, just to make sure it's not anything weird. Perfect. Just what I was thinking of. Okay. Boom. It was, it was only like 98,000. It wasn't even like crazy expensive. So then you'll go up here, and then... 
Ah, what am I doing? Oh, what button is it? I, I, oh, I gotta press. Oh no. Oh, press star. There's so many buttons to press. I want to build this out. And so then this ramp. So you'll come here. Then I want this ramp to go up the other way. So I need to build up higher here. I think I'm going to need to build up the ground layer on this side a bit more first. I could get some money out the the bank and just pay it all off now. Then I'd have it uh, by tomorrow. Then I can set the, the next one to be, to be built. Right, I can break maybe maybe break some of this away a little bit later on. But for now, let's just make sure I'll be able to fit in the top layer. Oh, look at that like giant row of shelves down here. Why is there so many shelves? So let me just kind of mark out where where it would be. So you're going to go up here. Then this path's going to go around. I guess I could just do the path. It was going to be a good way to mark it. I'm going Coco nuts in lockdown, someone said. I love the way most people have moved on from the, uh, the fruit puns. But there's a few people still going strong. And I respect that. So then the next ramp will be here. So they need to be too wide. I'm worried it won't let me do it this close. So I might kind of go like... Leave just one gap to play it safe. And then I want the next ramp leading up here. So then that's why I need to build up the, the ground on this side a bit. So the ramp would be like leading up here somewhere. So I don't know exactly how it's going to be. So I have to see how it lets me build the incline. And even if I pay that one off, it won't let me set to place a new one until uh, like the next day. So we're going to have to wait anyway. If you went back to look at like my original drawing for like my plan for all of this was gonna be, I bet I bet it's not looking like too far off it now. I bet it's not like that drastically different. Right, I'm just gonna add a, a few bits here just so I can kind of like curve it all off a little bit. If I curve this, can the path stay there? Or will it not let me curve it? Oh, there we go. That looks alright. No! Why is it one button for everything? It makes it so awkward. No! I'm trying to curve this bit off! It's just so, like, precise for, like, the angle you need to be facing it. Oh, I can't wait for the The ramps are going to make it so much nicer here. So yeah, then you'll go here. And this ramp would lead you... Oh! Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. I have disappeared. My camera has overheated and gone to sleep. No face cam for a bit, guys, I'm afraid. See you later, guys. <laughs> that was all very sudden, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, so then this will this will be you now on the top layer. Then this will wrap around here. So I, I can go and add in the path in this section as well. Just to kind of mark where it will be. I'm afraid you're going to have to handle not seeing my curly hair for a, for a little bit now, I'm afraid. Uh, once the camera's cooled down a bit, I'll be able to turn it back on. Like, I, I do kind of have, like, a backup camera. But last time I set up to switch that in a stream, when I went back to the other camera, all of the things were messed up, and it was reversed and cropped weird and stuff, and 
I don't know if I'm uh, <laughs> prepared to deal with that again now. So yeah, this is going to be then the, the top layer up here. So there'll be a ramp. So where that little patch of grass is, that's where the next incline would be leading up to, to this section. Uh, I wonder if I should just do this whole bit, like, paved. Uh, I'm not so sure, though. Let's see how much I can build up this uh, this top layer. Then I was going to do, like, along that back area, like, a, a line of, like, rope. I might just build this, like, right up to the edge for this fence. So I'm never going to... Like, I'm never going to need to run through this section because i got the path right on the other side. So let's build this, like, right up to the edge here if it lets me. And it does. Just to give me a little bit more room. So what I want, I just want like a telescope up there. And then um, like, I don't know, maybe just a little seating area. Or like or, or like a bench. It could be where I go to, you know, like the shooting stars. Like it could be my place where I go and watch the shooting stars as well. Oh, that would be perfect. So this, this bit here doesn't actually need to be built out that much. So let's kind of curve it off a little bit there. There we go. That looks natural enough. Oh, i got a present. Do you like my slingshot, by the way? I've got a colourful slingshot. Look at my 360. Ooh, boing. Stargazing spot. Yeah, that's what it is, Gianna. This will be my stargazing spot. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very, very green. This actually really reminds me of Cyphers. <laughs> this is so, so weird. Like, I can't mention too much about it because I'm being, I'm still being all secretive. But um, in the the book that I'm writing, one of my characters wears like an entirely like green outfit. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of like what they're wearing here. So here's like a, an obscure reference for those of you if you ever... If you ever read my book, if it's ever readable, then you can uh, you can remember back to this live stream and remember the character wearing green. <laughs> I got loads of miles as well, which is good. <laughs> oh no, he's writing about creepers. <laughs> Uh, what is the book called? Uh, it doesn't have a name yet, or not like a, uh, not a permanent name. So I've actually written, I guess I'll talk about it now, because people ask about it all the time. So I do do, um, book diaries on my second channel, and I'm overdue to do another one as well, because I've got a few developments. But what I'm thinking of doing at the moment for, for my books is doing, um, like videos for them. So I would release, like, uh, a version which is just readable. But I like the idea of doing like video so I'm reading it out then on screen there's like uh, an illustration of a, of a book and like at the beginning of the episode you'd see it like kind of open up and then you'd see like the, the words kind of as I read them like almost like subtitles um, uh, so you can kind of read along and listen but then also like the, the illustrations as well on page. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing at the, the moment. And then just kind of releasing like a download for those that just want to, you know, for those that want to just read it and don't want to hear my voice, which is understandable, uh, then they'll have a version as well. That's kind of what I'm thinking of. Because I did like, I mentioned in my last book diary, the idea of like having me on screen, like reading to, to camera. But then I kind of went off the idea. I feel like I'd be like, I'd be a bit too distracting and I'd have to have like a, like a whole set for it as well and stuff. So I kind of, I kind of ended up going against that idea in the end. Like I think the idea would work really well and would be fine. But I think for, for my book, I wouldn't be so sure of it. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like the, the corners broken away on where the path is. Thank you to uh, to H Cupcake for the uh, donation. 
As well as a living paint, who says Tom Nook is in the chat threatening our kneecaps. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a very Tom Nick thing to, to do. And then thank you as well to uh, to Blue Cubs, who says, Stampy, it's been a while since I watched your videos. Uh, the last video I watched was Terraria. Uh, I forgot what episode it was last on. Well, I don't know if you know this, but um, I've been live streaming Terraria as well. And making, uh, yeah, made pretty great progress uh, as well. So if you do want to watch any more Terraria, then there is more Terraria out there on live streams. What do you think for um, the flooring in this area? I could do it as like a little deck, do you reckon? Up at the, the top here. Do you think that would look quite nice? Unless I just leave it as grass. I think a little deck might look nice. This is quick enough to change, so I can kind of try it out and just see how it looks first. Congrats on beating the uh, the Moon Lord. Thank you. The Moon Lord fight was just so crazy, like and not in like the crazy way you'd expect. It just it was so easy, like like I I didn't in a million years think that I was gonna beat it in that fight. Like I was like this is gonna be the stream where like I work out how to beat the Moon Lord and then I'll prepare and then I'll go up for my first actual battle against the Moon Lord. But I just beat it straight away. I might do it like not curved actually. I might just leave it leave it like that for this bit. This looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Then, so eventually, so at the night time, you'll see all the sky and you'll see all of those trees there as well. Hopefully this is all like making sense. All of my jabberings I've said about my plan. Like this is looking a little bit different from how it was in my head, but it always does. So then we can put this like uh, here. Then I was gonna do a, I'll see how it looks. I was gonna do like the, the rope fence. Oh no, Alex has just curled up on the, um, on the beanbag in the background and you can't see. Let me see if the camera will, uh, will last for a little bit and I'll see whether I can, uh, turn on the quick corgi cam. Yeah, so I was just going to do a rope, like, I won't do it around the hole outside. Uh, let's go, let's go get a bench. Let me see if the camera's working. Oh, it is! Oh, there we go. Oh, I knew you'd want to see little Alex curled up on the bee bag. Uh, I don't curve mine either. The the wood curve looks odd. Yeah, it, it didn't really uh, didn't really work out that good. The the curved. Should I just should I, should I just leave the gameplay small for a little bit just so you can see little little sleepy Corgi? She's all sad because she only gets one walk a day, and it was raining, and she hates walking in the rain. Oh, what was I going to get? I was going to go get a thing. What was I going to get? I said I'm going to go get a thing, and then I forgot what I was going to go get. Might change my outfit back. What was I going to get? I was like, let's do this, and then let's go... Oh, a bench, a bench, a bench. I remembered. I remembered. Before you all remind me, I remembered anyway. Oh, is it, uh, is it lagging? Hopefully he doesn't uh, fully cut out again. Oh, you can at least hear me a little bit because I hear everyone saying bench. <laughs> Is there anything else that would look good up there? Well, I, I need some sort of lights up there as well, don't I? I guess you don't want much light if you're like stargazing. So maybe like little candles could look good. Oh, by the way, Raider, if you're still there... Let me show you something that I can craft. I was going to make one for me. But I can make one for you as well. I trade one for uh, for your bookcases when you can make when you have enough of them. Like only when you're finished your library. I can make like stacks of books. Uh yeah, like I can make this. I don't know if you have that. So it needs 5 books. So I've ordered Five books for me for today, and then the two that I can send to other people I've, I've done for you. Yeah, so let me know if you'd want that. Yeah, let me see, like, what, like, little candles I can make. Uh, you can't wish while sat, by the way. Oh, really? That's annoying. It'll still be cute just to, to sit down there. Like, I think a bonfire would be nice, but I think it'd be, like, too light. I think I might just have to like buy some little candles. 
I got the bamboo ones, but I've kind of used them like too much in other places. Maybe I'll just take like a torch or something from uh, from somewhere here. Uh, sorry that it's lagging. It's probably our our internet at the at the moment. Maybe I'll just take this little candle for now, and I'll be able to order more of them. Oh, you want it? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll oh okay. It'll take a bit because I need a lot of books now as well. I'll. I'll make you one of them, and then you make me a, a bookcase, and we we do a trade raider, okay? <laughs> Maybe if you if you say if you want to speed it up, if you send me a couple books as well, that will help me out. Because look, because we can get we can get if between us we can get seven books a day. No, we can get fourteen books a day. So we can order five for ourselves and then two for each other. So we can get fourteen books a day. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the lag. If you refresh it, that normally helps it out a little bit. So, try that thought for you. Out of my control, I'm afraid. Oh, that looks nice. Then maybe I can put the, uh, the little candle down here. So there'll be a little bit of light, but not too much. One candle might be fine, you know. And I can push this forward a little bit. I kind of wish it was night time now. So you could sit here, like, stargazing. I mean, if you go down here, you'd have, like, the, the view of all of the, the trees down there as well. I'm wondering, I might, um, not have that bit as corners and have the ropes a little... Ooh, look at that parkour. Parkour! Oh, do it again. Parkour! Parkour! <laughs> yeah, yeah! Because someone's calling me on Skype, who I don't recognise. I will not be answering that. I'll give you another little, uh, while I'm working this out, I'll give you another little view of... Of sleepy Corgi. Being all sleepy. Oh, she's off. Oh, she's having a stretch. Oh, stretching those little legs. Her legs are very, very small. She only stretches them to make her legs look big. Oh. Well, it's because I, 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 she knows what I'm talking about her. And she goes and grabs a toy and tries to play again. <laughs> oh, can I not get around that corner? Right, I guess I'll just use like a, a ladder to get down to the other side. On the bright side, the camera seems to be lasting a little bit better for now. It's probably going to cut off. Actually, I might just uh, turn it off for a little bit and then I can turn it back on. I don't, don't want to break it. <laughs> I don't want to break my camera. <laughs> like it works fine, but it just uh, it overheats. I don't really start, like, I, to be fair, it's been on, like, non-stop for, like, three hours. What I can do is, like, if I turn, like, I have the screen up, because when I've got, like, my, uh, my program up, I, I like to look at, like, I need to be able to, except if I'm looking at you, I kind of look at the screen of the camera, so I need to see what it's like. So I could maybe do it with the screen down, and then the battery would last longer. But that's only if, like, these these longer streams become more regular. Like most games I wouldn't stream this long for, but Animal Crossing is a game that you can kind of just almost endlessly play. Actually, why not? I, I could even have room to do this rope around like the whole outside here. I wonder if that would take up too much space though. But there's, to be fair, there's not much like else I want to, to build up here. Uh, Undercover Deke says you should play Ori and the, the Blind Forest. I've already played it. I don't. I, I I played it like not on stream or on videos. I think it would be a bit too difficult for for that. Uh, but we actually named our cat Ori after the uh, after the game. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love it. And we're playing through Ori and the Will of the Wisps right now. Oh look at that! It's fate. I had just the right amount of rope. So look, I can push the fence along there. Oh, I feel like it just needs to be a tiny bit bigger though, doesn't it? Oh, hello. I'm going to be bad wife here and say that you need to go and eat something. Yeah. <laughs> Remember we got D&D &D at uh, half six. Oh, do we? Yeah, and okay. I want you to eat something so you don't get all crashed and all sad and stuff. So you go eat. It's like a tiny little snack thing that I made. It'll take two seconds for you to eat. 
You can either go on B right back screen, or I can hold down the fort to be here, okay? Well, I'm, I'm basically done now anyway. The camera's died. Stamps. No, no, honestly, like, I, it's just the last finishing touches. Okay. I want to play my video game. I know, but I'm worried because you're going to be all like low energy and stuff. But Ben down the road is able to play all day. It's not fair. Yeah, but Ben probably eats food. I'm building a stargazing area for stargazing. It'll take you two seconds to eat and then no. you can keep streaming. What is it? It's like hummus on bread. Hummus on bread? Yeah, and crisp. Uh, but Ben gets to eat chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a stupid little vegan, aren't you? And you I... can't have chicken wings. It's your own fault. <laughs> I wish I could have Ben's parents. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't call me your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you... Please don't you came in that. here ordering me to stop playing video games yeah. and to have my lunch. Yeah, yeah. as your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this place is cool. I might do a... I'm going to build it a little bit wider. And I'll have this bit, like, I might have one little bit a little bit higher. Do you know you can build another layer up, but then you can't, like, put anything on it? I just want you to go eat food. I've got, I'm going to eat it! <laughs> I was editing and I was just like, I can't, I can't leave until I know that you've eaten. Just eat lunch. Because you won't, because you'll be streaming for another hour, and then by that I'm time... I'm not going to be so I'm almost done! You've got an hour until we play playing D&D. Yeah, I've got plenty of time to I'll eat, and I'll have a cup of tea. Okay. And I'll be all, I'll be all good. Oh, you'll have a cup of tea, will you? Oh, go on, put the kettle on. Well, not, not go right, on, not right. go on, if you make a cup of tea. Oh, go on, if you don't make a cup of tea, I'll have a cup of tea. Oh, oh go oh. on, then. Oh, couldn't say no, couldn't say no. Oh, I couldn't oh. say no. Oh, couldn't turn down a cup of tea. Oh, I couldn't do that. Couldn't turn oh, down a cup of tea. Oh, go on, then, might as look, well. Look, look, can, look, we can on our date nights, we can come and stargaze here, look. Won't this be perfect? Stop trying to be all nice with me, because I'm ordering you to eat food, and you're like, oh, we can go here on date night. But Ben <laughs> <laughs> But Ben has date night <laughs> I wanna yeah. go on date night with Ben <laughs> <laughs> I want Ben to be my wife <laughs> I wish I was married to Ben but it's not fair We would never eat we would just be build stargazing points all day long We'd have so many stargazing I'm points ben, then. We'd see all the stars <laughs> <laughs> That, is that going to be a new thing now? But Ben. <laughs> that, that sounds really rude, actually. But Ben. But Ben. Hi, I'm But Ben. <laughs> but Ben. <laughs> you, you call me BB. <laughs> yeah, so look. So there's going to be one incline up there, going that way. Then the other one going back the other that way there. That actually looks really cool. So that's can you make one of these in my world, please? In my island. You can make it. Can you do it in my island? You could do it. Go eat, we want to talk to Squishy. It's like, can you go away please? Like, me and Squishy need to talk. <laughs> then there's the orchard here. Then it's going to be the same on the other side. I just need to plant all the, the stuff. I am proud. Look, I decorated two rooms, did an orchard, and did a stargazing point. And yeah. what and what has Ben done today? He what, ate his lunch. What has he, <laughs> he had his lunch? He ate his lunch, yeah. <laughs> right, I'll look. Is he's the not, he's not gonna crash and be all grumpy when we're playing D and D. But what, and then me? his wife isn't you... having to deal with it. That's what I'm doing this for me, not you. <laughs> we want to talk to Squishy. <laughs> but Ben, it's like you're saying I'm Ben. But Ben, <laughs> no. <laughs> Go eat. Let's have a Squishy takeover. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, and so I, I can, I'll add like a few like, maybe bamboo, like flowers around this bit and stuff as well. So what I think I'll do, right, here's the plan, right, we're done. We're done. I'll, I'll wait for all the trees to grow and I'll carry on like decorating the, the rest of that area. And then I'll come back in to, to give you an update. And then, yeah, when I have a, another big animal crossing project, we will. Oh my! My belly literally rumbled. Oh my gosh! I heard that from here. Did you? Did you hear that His rumble? His stomach just like. I bet that that picked up on the mic. I, bet that <laughs> I think it. Up. I think it peaked. 
I, think I heard it from over here. <laughs> <laughs> you just see my like like my t-shirt going like. Yeah. It's like a like a cartoon. Right, guys. If he's gonna do, I'm gonna like say no because he won't listen to me, right? If Stampy <laughs> is doing another like three-hour stream, <laughs> can people say? Stampy, just go and be right back for like five minutes and get like a snack or something, because otherwise he just won't. Okay, so just just do that. But for me, Ben, <laughs> I'm not Ben. <laughs> but Ben streams for twelve hours and has no brains. <laughs> I wish I was Ben. But Ben. Everyone's gonna be searching for like Ben on you. Yeah, this Ben sounds great. We should we should watch his streams. <laughs> Who is Ben? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that's it in the stream. Uh, probably I want to say thank you to uh, to Adi Marin, who says, um, uh, "Like your job? Can you help me with some subs, please? Have a nice day." I'm sorry, I can't do it. I don't, I don't promote people unless like I know their their channel or or anything. Uh, thank you as well to uh, to Aspie Gamer, who says, uh, "Remember the tree you would press it belly button." Oh, what Kevin? Remember the tree you'd press its belly? Yeah, I remember Kevin. There's a Kevin. Oh, you can't see. There's a Kevin up there. Okay, so by Rats Quacks. Did they make it? Who made that? I can't remember who made it. Oh, no, that's awful. It was one of the uh, the I mean, events. It was... was it at a someone you met in person, was wasn't it? Was it Rats Quacks? I wasn't there. It was someone you met. I wasn't there. Who made it? Oh, no. I'm sorry if it wasn't. And I'm... I feel like it was Rats Quacks. It was someone you knew. It was someone yeah. you... Yeah. Was Some it Amy? Both or was it Amy? I'm sorry, I, don't, I can't remember. Oh no, I'm an awful person. Sorry, I'm an awful person. Oh, everyone's saying, don't you mean Nivek? <laughs> no. Yeah, Kevin's being kidnapped by aliens right now and there's an alien version of him. Anyway, I'm going to keep on chatting. That's the end of the stream. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go eat. See you later.